It's quite strange riding through the festival. He says, what goods you got? And he holds his lantern in the back of the I even cart. got wine for Erwin and well, Giba. Let's not pretend like you're an actual guard, okay? I'm gonna. I am a guard of Lucky. Lady Fiona. Lady is bitch. you one could even say that she's allies with Strahd. Oh, she oh, she, she publicly has come out. If I said this earlier, she publicly has come out that she has no quarrels with Strahd. Why does the Baron attack here? As dawn breaks over the blue water in, the aftermath of an all-night downpour greets you. Outside, the cobblestone streets of Alaki glistened, glittered with puddles that mirror the slowly brightening sky. From your room, the vibrant life of the inn below carries up through the wooden floorboards. The murmur of conversations punctuated by the occasional hearty laugh forms a backdrop to the morning. The enticing aroma of breakfast drifts upstairs. The familiar scent of fried wolf steak and gravy, a staple that promises to fill both the belly and your soul. The large comforting presence of the inn itself with its creaking floors and the soft glow of oil lamps adds to the feeling of safety amidst the lance of Barovia. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, judging by the soft diffused light that filters through your windows. Casting a gentle glow on the room's simple, well-worn furnishings, a soft knock at your door momentarily draws your attention from the view from outside. A timid voice follows, barely louder than a whisper. The voice goes, Um, I don't know if you're awake, but my father, I mean, Erwin, is asking to talk to you before you leave. And... The little, uh, you can hear little footsteps as the um, person runs away from the door. So, um, what would Zazel, Michael, Dalabinian, and Alistair be doing this fine morning? Getting my, you know, like the, the pajamas that they wear in Mount Blade Warband? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fixing that up on myself. Getting my suit ready. <laughs> okay. Smacking my cane against the ground, making sure that it's nice and ripe. <laughs> Your cane? Nice and sturdy. Oh, you shit. Know? Okay, nice. I'm going to give it a couple of practice swings around the room. Oh, shit. Start lancing with it. I fucking just feel like you club someone, you club Michael over the head and he fucking dies. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys doing? Drinking. No. <laughs> I'm going to have someone spark and let him enjoy the room. You open, or your little robotic companion floats around. His gears have a cold, it's like a cold start in the engine. You, you, haven't pulled, you haven't pulled him out in a while, so he's like stuttering and stuff, and he just kind of looks around and stuff. He's like, Damn. My character would be probably naked in bed. So he's gonna start putting on his clothes. <laughs> I have my great sword pressed against the door so no one could open it from the outside because I took the handle from it. Ooh. And then I'm gonna get dressed and then don my sword and then get ready to walk out. You get dressed and everyone's astonished by your massive girthy. <laughs> what? Johnson. <laughs> the, Alistair, what, what are you doing this morning? Uh, standing next to the window in the sunlight. <laughs> okay, you're growing a little flower. <laughs> a little flower sprouts from Eat your shoulder. That sunlight, you know. Rose eating. All right. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do from here? I guess go out and meet Irvin. Yep. So you guys uh, wake up. You open your open your door to your room. Your door is on the second level. Um, <laughs> you can you look down and you can just kind of see some people familiar people that you've seen. Uh, you see some a couple patrons that you've seen before. Uh, you see Rictavio. I don't know if you guys remember him at all. You remember him? He was the bard man. And you see Irwin's there at the uh, at the bar, uh, filling drinks up for people, putting dishes of uh, plates at people, cleaning off some plates. And uh, when he walks, he kind of looks at you guys real quick and comes kind of goes back down to cleaning his foods and stuff. Um, he looks a little worried when he sees you guys. Uh, so you guys will continue down to uh, the first floor. All right. 
The front door is open from people going, coming, and going. Uh, you see a little patron man walk by, and as you guys, as he walks past you guys, he kind of gives you guys a weird, a weird uh, side eye, <laughs> bombastic side eye. Because people know who we are. We're famous around here for the uh, wrong reasons. Uh, can my helmet still be? <clears throat> I want to be no. Yeah, sure. Can right. I be in my? Can I be in my different form? My alter ego. Yeah, Bill sure. Wang. In the middle of the, in the mid, you what do you transform into? Bill Wang. What do you actually transform into? I don't know what this man looks like. Huh? Um, chubbier, Asian man. Uh, definitely looks like he blew up a forty billion dollar hedge fund. <laughs> okay, you turn to this in two days. Asian, in the middle of the the, the area. No, 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 I did this before. I worked on <laughs> they, he noted he, he that man seems suspicious of you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing you're gonna walk inside the tavern. I only kid about that. Can I just turn into just uh, the man I described last time? Sure. Yeah. You dress. You're like a man in a little tunic, slick back hair. Yes. And when you guys walk in, li it's lively in here. You know, you, you see some people eating, talking, stuff. Uh, you see some people. Uh, as a matter of fact, everyone turns their head and looks at you guys. Um, can I can I roll in? Can I can I look at all of them? Like like their eyes? Mm -hmm. they, like, do they all? Yeah, but you look, you look at everyone. Okay. Can I roll investigation? What are you trying see, to like, investigate? See if anything's off about this, like. Uh, that really wouldn't be an investigation. That'd become more of like an insight. Okay. Can I roll inside? Fourteen. Yeah, these people know who you are. You guys took no effort into mm -hmm. hiding your identity. But am I not changed? Yeah, you're changed, but um, people know what you know. People know what uh, he looks like. He took. He did no. Parker did no effort into changing his identity. Can I like look over Parker like? He did no. Huh? So I just have my hood on. Yeah, but people of people <laughs> definitely people turn around and they look. You guys and um, this lady in particular. She's like she gets up and she's like. Oh my god! It's them! It's gonna be a slaughter, bro. And, and Erwin, you see Erwin, this is like, oh, oh my god. god. Erwin's, you, Erwin's pissed off not now. <laughs> and you you see uh, some people, other people over here. You see these two, uh, you see Rotavia over here with these two other patron mans, and they come around and they're like, <laughs> Sorry, the the breakfast smells. Erwin, crazy. Erwin looks at you guys, Erwin looks at you guys, or he gives me like, god damn. You're not welcome here, leave! And he points you out the door. <laughs> Can I start like floating in the air towards the center of the door? <laughs> 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 like oh. a like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm sorry, I forgot to take preparations. The smells carry me down the staircase like a cartoon into the room. Oh, you're not welcome here. <laughs> and I fall on the ground. These, this man stands up from the table, like, and, this, <laughs> and this man stands up from the table. Dust away. <laughs> Okay, focus up. We're in some serious shit right now, guys. These uh, these two men. Parker, men fucking relax, bro. All right, you're these, giving these, too much input. These two men over here. I'm gonna walk out. Those are like they kind of look. They look like these gruff men. And they're like, you heard him leave. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. They don't know who I am. They're like, oh. Who, who, are they, who is he talking to? You guys. All four of us? Yes. Can I like, can I roll like a... Uh, you guys all walk Can I roll performance to try to act like I wasn't with them? <laughs> That's not how performance would work in this what case. What would it be? Deception? Uh, it would be deception, but you have disadvantage, you know. This is doing this like I turn back around and walk out the door. I'm just going to walk out. I don't <laughs> Alright, you guys walk out the door, and Zazril, you noticed... As you're walking out the door, you see Erwin. It's like he's just pissed off, and he looks super stressed out. Oh my God. And this, as this, this, uh, these men, the bows, come here, and they shut the door, and you hear just yelling inside this tavern. Oh my God! So, <laughs> what the fuck? The terrorists were here. Uh, she locked the doors and lighted on fire. What was that one fire called? <laughs> 
Should I put two trip lines down? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's focus. I think. Okay, this is, I'm like legitimate plan here. I say that we we hustle our asses to that lady's like mm-hmm. manor. Yeah. Like fast. Yeah. And then we just go in, and then we just like we basically we're probably gonna have to act fast, which means we're probably gonna have to act with force. Mm-hmm. Or a good persuasion. We just gotta rely on rules. Of nature. Just saying. I feel like the man's probably more guarded than. <laughs> no, no, it's not the mayor's house. It's, yeah. it's, it's that, what's that lady you called again? Her name was Lady Fiona Walker. Lady Fiona Walker. I, Isn't her manor in town? Yeah. So it would be kind of counterproductive to leave than try to sneak back in, because yeah, that would be a lot harder, mm-hmm. because we got helped by the rain. True. So we really should just kind of rush off to her house, take some back alleys, you know? That's fair. Stay a little bit in the yeah. down low. We disguise, so I'm ready. To yeah, parking needs to turn into not this giant sentient fucking <laughs> brush. Was it rat time? It's rat time. <laughs> it's, it's rat time. Grab your Mosin. All right. Grab your Mosin and your seven and thirty-one. Yeah, I, I guess I'm a rat. You guys want you guys. So describe to me what you guys are doing here in this case, because um, you guys can we kind of like because we've seen the map of the city, right? Uh, from what Erwin's described, you you know where general location is of this manor. However, though, you guys took no precautions at all of height, concealing identity except Sam. But Sam is, you three mainly, especially Alistair, took no precaution at all in, the, in uh, preserving your identity. And um, nobody knows what my face looks. Like. By like after like a few um minutes of just leaving this uh tavern and walking around, uh. People just out and about. Wanna, like, uh, Tell me, like, I need to know. Well, I know, I know. Okay. Okay, so I want to, like, have us duck in the alleys and just kind of try to, like, take the, I don't know, what would it be, just the alleyways, like, like more hidden directions to this lady's house and not just, like, wandering down the street at my 6'4". So you guys are planning to sneak through the, uh, the like the back alleys and stuff, correct? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to make our way. I need way. everyone to go ahead and just like kind of describe to me what your character would be doing in this. Like I understand, Parker. I know you said you turn into a mouse or a rat, right? Waffle. Yes. Okay. Uh, rat, probably. You're disguised in the man, but you too. I'm gonna just have my hood on and like kind of like look at the floor a lot of times, not make eye contact with a lot of people. Okay. Can I can I pull a piece of paper? Hmm. Or like a book. Yeah, sure you do. And like a pen. Huh? And can I like, as I'm walking down the alleys, can I start looking up at buildings and like fake scribbling down notes? Sure, yeah. What about you, Zazzy? What are you doing? I'm going to drop my sword on the ground. Like I just, I just, I'm going to drop it. And then I'm going to turn my coat inside out. So it looks different. Okay. Wait. And then I'm going to obviously have my hand. You're leaving your sword? Yeah. I literally never use it. I can summon the fire. Okay. So as you guys are sneakily, you know, going through the back alleys of Alaki and stuff, I need everyone to roll me a stealth. All right, do that. Oh. Um, Parker, you don't have to. I got a six. Oh yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Any nice. advantages or no? No. Um, Just stealth. Sixteen. Sorry guys, I got a. Okay, I'll just leave you for dead. Same bro. We got a five. Five. Okay. So as you guys are, you know, going through the back alleys and stuff, you can tell now that uh, the city guards are on alert of that you guys' presence has been noted in this city. Um, you can you can probably guess that someone from the either like while you like trying to get to the back alley that maybe a citizen saw you or maybe a patron from. Uh, the inn actually saw you and reported you. Uh, so as you guys are like sneaking through and stuff, you notice that a um, that some few guards keep walking through and stuff. And I need you guys to roll me one more cell check. Just uh, just one more. Ooh, seventeen. It depends. As you <laughs> as you guys are walking through, one of the guards stops you in particular. And he says, and he says, hey, you have you seen them? And they hold out this uh, piece of paper, and you can tell it's like a really hastily drawn picture of you guys. <laughs> it looks actually pretty good, really? but they totally butchered like what Michael looks like. Okay. <laughs> they they made they had Michael depicted with really long hair and stuff, and they depicted him with like a really long beard. <laughs> okay, <let's laughs> 
Okay. Uh, have you seen them before? <clears throat> We're looking for them right now. I have not, but I will keep my eyes open. Uh, have any of you seen them? I, we have not, but we will be alerting you if we do. Uh, okay. <laughs> all, all will be well. <laughs> Yes, yes, all, all will be, be well. well. <laughs> Didn't we say it first every time? We'll be <laughs> yeah, hey, you got, all will be well. <laughs> you guys are continuing going to the back alley, and you have one more stretch. You have to get across this big road. You can start to see the manor of the house. Oh, the tip, it's a pretty tall Should house, we actually. Here in the alley while we're still uncovered? Yes. Yeah. Is Mark wanting to say something before to us? And we don't know what he was going to say. Are we sure we want to go to the manor right now without knowing mm-hmm. his words? Mm-hmm. Tell him to send one of those bitch ass kids to get us. <laughs> well, I can't tell it. Parker. Parker, turn into a fucking oh. cow and go. <laughs> Role play your mother, bro. Go fucking humpty dumpty your ass over there and get his get his attention. Let let the townspeople milk you. Is he was he gonna talk to a fucking talking cow? Yes. Mm-hmm. Bro, just turn into a bat or You're something. Also a, a, a bat? I don't care. It's just a red, it's a fucking mosquito, bro. Mosquito. Mosquito's actually smart as fuck. Yeah. It's eating my bird. So what are you doing? What are you doing, Alistair? Are you, are you taking their advice or what? Well, it's telling me to do. Go get one of the one, one of the guy's kids. No, just, no, just go. T- <laughs> steal the mosquito. No, just go talk to the guy. Do we know where he is? Yeah, he's at the tavern. Irwin. Or, or what's okay. that? Irwin. Irwin. Ivern. What do I tell him? So you say, what did you want to tell us before we botched this whole thing? <laughs> you see an old, ma- you oh, see an yeah. old decrepit like homeless man sitting in the alley with you, and he sees you guys. He's like, spare change. I'm gonna flip a gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> you flip a gold coin to him. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> he dies. I'm gonna he dies of happiness. I'm say all of you will. <laughs> Can I search his pockets? Don't fence that You rifle your hands through his pockets. <laughs> you find a little baggie of fentanyl. Can I do it? Is this man of color? No, it's a it's a half orc. Why? Yeah, I'll. No, he's a half orc. I just said. Um, I'm just I, kidding. Is he is he dead there? I'm just kidding. He's, there's no fucking homeless tell, man there. Oh yeah. Is okay. <laughs> what do you so Alistair, what do you I need you to know what you guys are doing? Um, I guess I'll turn to a bat and fly to the tavern. <laughs> Whose pocket were you in? I don't think uh, it's uh, the biggest pockets. Okay. Is that right. real? Last time. A little Alistair's f- little jacket inside us. <laughs> the rat. Yeah, you, uh, you the little, your little, your since you're inside out, your pocket would actually be like inside your coat. So he's like in your armpit area or some shit. So you, and also this, you feel this little lump inside your coat pocket start to shift. A little fucking shitty bat just comes out. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. What do you, that that was your last shape <laughs> shift of the day, Parker. Just letting you know. We have the day. Mm-hmm, you going to two just, two. I per, had three. Uh, it's two prolonged rest, I believe. That's it right now. So you turn to bat. What do you want to do? Careful, Professor Chase may yell at you. Crumple that bag. I'm trying. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go fly to the tavern. The okay. <laughs> Roll me perception. <laughs> I get on all fours and eat. I'm, I'm good at that. I'm actually kind of good at that. Lucky twenty. Here we go. Twenty. 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 Parker, as you fly around back to the uh, tavern you see some you see guards like like grabbing people and throwing them on the ground and looking at them and stuff you see guards busting through houses of like citizens and like uh establishment buildings um you actually see actually a couple dead citizens on the ground you don't know what really from but as you as you get closer to the, the tavern you see that it's just infested with guards and you see Irwin being dragged out by like his hair, being grabbed and thrown out into the streets. And you just see guards kicking him. And you see Baron Vargas there too. Is that Byron? Where's his son? Uh, 
<laughs> you see, you see, like the, you see, you can't really hear what they're saying exactly, but since you're trying to stay away from them, but you, you can tell that they're yelling at him about something, um, and you see, like, for me to get closer. Yeah, really yeah. Roll me a stealth with uh, advantage, why don't you? Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you get closer, and uh, none of the guards seem to see you. Uh, but you see that, like, as you get closer, you can hear that the guards are like, "Where did they go? We know, we, you know, we know where you sent them." And uh, you see Baron Vargas just kind of standing over there, and you hear him say, "Execute his wife." And he like just kind of turns around and just starts walking away from this group. And uh, you also see. From this, you see the guards front. Uh, look at that other one. You heard him. Go grab his wife. And you hear everyone say, "No, please, no." Parker's <laughs> real reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you see, dude. Yeah. I can't break the mirror street. He was mogging. Um, can't break the mirror. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Six oh, minutes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fly back to the group. Okay, as he's flying back to the group, are you guys are you guys doing anything in particular while he's coming to fly back? Uh, Big looking at buildings and writing stuff down in like there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like leaning against the wall. I have to like. Dang, you look edgy. Nice. All right. <laughs> you 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 three see this uh, disfigured bat like like flap its try to flap back to you, and Alistair, you have made it back to the group. Okay, I'm going to be like. Uh, Guys, uh, there's guards everywhere, and they found Erwin, and they're gonna kill his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I, love oh, I love that. Just like, guys, uh, <laughs> guards uh, everywhere. Uh, they're gonna uh, kill Erwin's wife. <laughs> 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 they might know where we're gonna. They might know where we're gonna be. Doubt it. So we should probably like. Move. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Do you think? If we get this sword quick enough, we can get everyone to... Let's think about it like this. Build, to justify like, this in my we mind... We it from a building inside the city. We're like, we're the king now. <laughs> yeah. Almost to justify <laughs> this, <laughs> Erwin's dad did not like him. And I liked Erwin's dad. So, like... Why Erwin's dad's <laughs> humanity, like... Oh. Let's be, real life's fault. Let's be real here. He had his kids smiling. It's just an invasion of my privacy and my first amendment. Also, also wife is a woman. Yes, one, one, one woman versus like all the guys that surrounds her name. Not worth it, really. Speaking from my character part, this is saddening. Mm -hmm. Because I like I do like my character that's like Erwin. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time role playing because I'm in a goofy ass mood. <laughs> 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 Live reaction when Erwin's wife died. <laughs> it's the Ryan, the Ryan Gosling burp. We could all do this at the time. They're gonna execute his wife and there's a lot of people in this town square. Oh, that's true, <laughs> bro. Big facts. There's a lot of people. Alright, let's go in there and just fucking beat this fucking woman to death and get the fucking sword. <laughs> Hold it up in the air, call ourselves the kings of this town, and then go march on Strahd, bro. Fucking Knights of the Round Table type shit. <laughs> Honestly, Joe, bro, this is what I would do in Warband. The Kingdom of Finn did not come to be because we sat around trying to save people. We had to take some names and leave some friends behind and execute a few bandits along the way, bro. It was just the way that it had to be. That's, yeah, that's about to get Let's get to business. We wait till the execution happens and then use this time. They might just kill her on the street, bro. They take the rusty blade and <laughs> 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 So what are you guys doing here? You guys have made this yeah, like, plan what I'm doing. <laughs> in this alleyway. Yeah, these bricks need some work. Shh, where the bitch's wife's dead. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> <I just, laughs> <all right. laughs> My dear consultant to his wife. But <laughs> Jesus, that's terrible, Alistair. But we need to move forward. <laughs> Think about <laughs> Think about the future. <laughs> Think, about that state here. Think about the future. I only care about <clears throat> what's <throat> happening to somebody else if it's me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you nasty. <laughs> you are vile. Oh my god. I don't really know what's going on, honestly. <laughs> you guys have just made up this whack ass plan in the alley. With this old oh, homeless man who's overdosed on fentanyl. <laughs> And now I was getting executed. Because you guys are retarded. It's not a bugger's fault. <laughs> also, we need to move quick, gentlemen. We need to go into this house and get the sun sword of the sun lord. Mm -hmm. And call ourselves the new lord of this town. Mm -hmm. Sun lord. lord. <sighs> the sun sword of the sun lord to call us the new lords of this town. <laughs> okay, Who are we fighting? <laughs> Nazi Germany or Strahd, <laughs> all right? It's like it's like <laughs> Russia and Nazi Germany, yeah, or the yeah. Soviets and Nazi Germany. I was level five. I would say we just killed this entire town. Mm. We're still level four. Mm. Dude, to be fair, honestly, like, this town fucking blows damn. Like, yeah. these people suck. It's just to get the sword. Yeah, if, if I don't do the fucking Nazi salute, if, if I literally, like, it's, it's like this. If I don't go, oh, we'll be well, then people just execute you right on the spot. <laughs> They grabbed you like, think I did say it. Hang him! Get him! Get him! They're also god tears. As you guys are like, it's like, conversing in this alleyway, uh, some like townsville walk by and they kind of see you guys like, is everything all right? All will be well. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. And they keep walking like, all right, let's go. Wait, as, 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 as they, let's say it back. Gods, I found them. As they walk, as they keep walking like, those silly fentanyl users. <laughs> They're over those like, Cousin James, <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. I'm gonna grab that bitch by the neck and cut her head off and not saying, oh, we'll be whatever. Fire sword. Can we build our own gallows? Like how you did the penis? <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not the truth. <laughs> okay, let's, let's continue forward, guys. Come on. Let's go, the let's go to the mansion. Yeah, let's go to the mansion. <laughs> All right. As you guys walk across the, the street, um, the one last street, um, you see some like guards looking through some shit, like some buildings. You see some townspeople are like, what the, what's going on? And uh, <laughs> you see a... That does the guys You know the fence gonna arrive. So, yeah, sure. all right. So as you guys finally uh, make it to this, man, this house that Erwin has been describing to you, um, you are met with this quite like fenced off. It looks very run down. Doesn't look like it's been had much attention paid to it or that someone cares to keep its upkeep. And you see this. This house seems disgusted with itself. A slouching roof hangs heavy over furrowed gables. Gables? Huh? A moss covered wall sag and bulge under the weight of the vegetation. As you study the house's sullen what the? Never mind. As you study the house, you hear the the edifice actually groan. Only then do you realize the extent to which the house hate what it has become. So you guys are standing here uh, in front of that iron gate. There, it's rusted. The little it's swinging is kind of jar over open. You know, it's like the wind's kind of blowing it open. And shit. What do you guys want to do here? You're standing where you believe you need to be. Can I roll perception on like the windows of the house and mm -hmm. see if there's lights on? Yep. So. Good roll. Um, Here, Chris. Good job. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. In for sure. Oh. You landed that in the bucket. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I got a 14. 14. Very good. You actually do see some lights on in this house. Although, what you notice is that uh, they're like the curtains all seem to be shut and only slivers of light seem to pierce through and shit. It looks very closed off. It looks almost like uh, it wants to be closed off, kind of. Like Is this like the Monster House from that one movie, Monster House, in 2009? No, it's not like the one guy where he's like playing the arcade and the adult diaper is like, oh shit, dude, look at all the blood. <laughs> and he like he's running out the door, he stops in his track and he turns around and grabs the kid's candy and just starts running away. That's going into the video. I'm going to place like, make a clip of this that, that setting. Honestly, I might just put the whole movie in there. <laughs> just like two hours. 
swans. <laughs> okay. We just want the audience to understand the joke. Yeah. It's like a void cap, right? I'm like flipping the image upside down. <laughs> I, I flip it vertical. I just flip it the other way around. <laughs> oh, look at all that blood. <laughs> Dude, what do you want? I'm gaming right now. Do I just fucking cut his head off? <laughs> I do what you want if you gave me a slice of meat. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are standing here in the front of the gate. How do you want to proceed? I'm gonna repeat the knowledge. Uh, it looks like all the windows are closed and there's lights on the building, so it seems like someone's home, but I don't think they can see it from the windows if we were to move in. I'm gonna blink through the gate. <laughs> I'm gonna do a triple backflip over the gate. I'm gonna roll a scout. Uh, are Any you still, by the way, Parker, are you still a bat? No, no, I'm okay. not a bat. You transform out your bat just <laughs> back to your little form. And you're rolling perception on the gate. Roll investigation on the gate, yeah, not perception. I'm gonna walk through this gate. I'm gonna roll. Okay. Max. Oh, what the fuck's my best? I think it's an eleven. Eleven. Uh, yeah, eleven. You see that there are. Well. You see that it appears there appears to be a big lock actually on the front gate, uh, but it's not actually connected all together. It looks like it's uh, someone's opened it. It's been broken into, actually, is what it looks like. Um, okay, the, so, the, so, so we just, like, push the gate open. Yeah, the gates are rusted. Uh, you can push them open, yeah. Okay. Can I look... Uh, on... Can I roll investigation on the gate? What are you doing, Zazio? Can I look on the... He already did that. On, huh? He just did that. Oh. On, like, all the, like, How stonework... How on the gate? Wait, Parker, just wait. Zazio... Uh, Zazio. Zazio was talking. What are you saying? Can I roll... <laughs> I want perception to see if there's any family name or like in scripture written on any of the stonework. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Damn. I got a 15. 15. You do not see anything of the sort on that. Is there any other mansions next to this one? Or is uh, no, this is definitely in a actually uh, more prosperous part of the town. Um, so there are a couple other nicer houses on this, but sim also it's just Velaki. Everything's kind of it's Barovia, honestly, just in general. Everything's kind of sad, gloomy. Uh, this house in particular though, is way more run down than any any other building you see. What's that horse? Hmm. On the gate. What's that horse? The horse. What horse? Does it have any special qualities to it? Is that even a fucking? Oh wait, horse? are you talking about the gate right there? That yeah. very tippy top part? Yeah, the top of the gate. The deer. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just a design. It just it, there's nothing the thing of importance of that. Mm. You can discern you can discern that there's no, 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 no nothing of importance of it. Lions. All right, we're gonna stay lingering out here. It, it, the it, gate. it appears to be regal. Like it tries to act like it's regal. Okay. I'm gonna blink through the gate. Uh, okay. Can I roll Arcana on the gate for any like magical barriers or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. As this is happening, uh, as this is happening. A, uh, 19. Okay, as this is happening, an older man uh, in his cane, he kind of hunched back, he's kind of walking, he's like, Can I help you, gentlemen? You've been standing here for a while. Where's he at? He's, he, he's walked up to you guys now. Does he care about the, is he inside the gate? No, 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 he's on the outside with you guys. He's kind of like walking down like this little oh. path or whatever. Does he care that I'm on Oh, yes, yes. Uh... I, I've lived in this neighborhood for many, many of years, and I've always wished this house looked better. Is that you look like uh what is like an architectural investigator? Is house appraiser? House appraiser, yes, yes. Say, what's your name? I, I would love to have a conversation with you one night. John Doe. John Doe. Oh, mm -hmm. are you talking about the first Roblox character who was ever created <laughs> <laughs> back in two thousand six, the creepy pasta? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's me. Oh, that is first. My name, my name is Kevin Banks. Nice, nice to meet you. And he shakes out. He's hold out his hand. Does it roll inside on this man? Hmm? Fart bag. No, he's a Roblox expert. Seven. Seven? Does he seem like he is hiding something? Like, true intentions? I'm gonna shake this man's hand. I'm gonna... <laughs> nice, nice, to, nice to meet you, John Doe. Well, uh... Likewise, Banks. Well, uh, I'm gonna continue walking. It's just nice to see some new faces in town. Kind of walks his way back down. You kind of see him. He turns a corner and just... Walks out of sight. Okay, uh, as you're walking the front door, what are you three doing? I need five foot tall tree guy. Uh, can I open the gate? Hmm? Yeah. Follow. Hey, you open the gate. <laughs> okay, I go. <laughs> you guys all walk in. You the walk old man in. is definitely not a good person, but... <clears throat> Bro, he's a good guy. 
You don't know if maybe he was just like fucking crazy or whatever. Probably unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> he might be unfazed. Can I chase after him? Sir, you unfazed? Can I knock on the door? Yep, you knock on the door. And after a few <laughs> seconds, maybe about 20 seconds, um, you hear some movement inside the house. Another few seconds go past. Can I jump off the side and hide? Like a kind of like a ding dong bitch. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'd just be standing like at the door. I'll yeah, sure. Roll head. Roll, go ahead and roll stealth. You guys are all standing at the door. I'm not rolling stealth. Okay, he's he's, he's jumping out of the way. He wants to roll stealth. Yeah, I want to get out. Of the I'm way. standing next. To What'd you get? I got a thirteen. Okay. And uh, Alistair, what are you doing? Uh, I'm dragging like like vegetation around. I mean, there's some there's some trees and there's some gardens. That gardens is actually there and stuff. I'm gonna jump behind a tree. And try blending in. Okay, roll me stealth too. Because I look like a tree. Roll me stealth. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you don't look I'm anything like a tree. Uh, six. Cool. After a few seconds, um, the there's like a little in the door. There's a little slit, like someone can open to see like eye view, and you see the slit. <laughs> Fly back, and you see um, who's seen the front door. You two are standing at the front door. <laughs> you see at the front door. You see this um, eyes of a woman. You, seems kind of gaunt. You really can't tell much of her because she's obviously you can't see her full body. She's just, um, excuse me, mate. can I help I'm you? A house appreciator, and uh, this is my colleague, my business partner. I was curious to see if you were interested in having your house appraised and valued. Oh, um, I don't think. Lady Fiona Walker is having any visitors right now. Perfect. Maybe perhaps you should come back another time. Oh, could you possibly go and get her for me? It will only take a second of her time. I, I'm sorry, I cannot do such a task right now. I am... Persuasion. Okay. Nat 20. Nat 20? Yeah. I'm not joking you. What? What is your total? Um... 27. Okay, yeah, you beat her. She rolled that 22. I'm not joking. It's crazy. Um, she's like, um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. And you see the little eye slit go shut. And you hear uh, the sound of another like heavy door being shut. You can hear it like reverberate from even outside. And uh, a few minutes come by. And um, she... Uh, oh, we're waiting here, kind of whisper to Michael. Hmm. What's the plan when she comes to the door? She opens it and we nap her? I don't think we can nap her. Are you sure? We <laughs> know. <laughs> Probably. Do you have go a big bug net? <laughs> <laughs> has to go inside. We could ask to go in. Yeah, we got yeah, yeah, to have crazy in this. Eyes are going to be a word. Right. The eye, the eye, the what are you called? Like an eye portal? Eye slit, yeah. yeah. It opens up and it's the same lady appears. She says, Lady Walker told me that there's no house appraiser coming today. Um, oh, I'm not scheduled to come. I'm just I'm roaming right. around town currently trying to. Are you sure you're not? Houses. Are you sure you're not part of the book club? She said there was members coming today. I, we're not, but that sounds very enticing. I have oh. a very big book. I probably bought a book out of my backpack. Do you actually have a book? Do you have a book in your inventory? It's my journal. I'm just gonna as a book. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love books. What does this book look like? Like this, but bigger. Okay, so it looks kind of like a wo- yeah. like a well worn. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, um, what's what's your names again?" John Doe. John Doe. My name is Mark. Mark. Um. <laughs> a <player>. Mark <laughs> Walton. Mark Walton on John. Okay. Uh, Mark Walton. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mark what, um, I I. I I suppose so. The door slit uh, shuts again, and you can hear the sounds of like chains, like door locks being pulled off from the door here. You hear another one. And you hear this giant lock, just this key, just fiddle in the keyhole. And then you see and you see this little, uh, uh, maybe like uh, kind of pale, gaunt, tiny, petite, uh, blondish kind of hair. She looks very, very exhausted. And she's probably maybe like four eleven. She's a very very short girl. How old is she? Uh, she appears about in her early twenties. She's fuckable. Pick up. I'm sorry. She's in her early twenties, but she's acting like an old lady. <laughs> Fun size she's to go to my garbage compactor. <laughs> uh, she just appears to be exhausted. You see this door open right here. 
I know where Fiona is. <laughs> Fiona. You see, you see this lady. Yeah. You see this lady right here open the door, and she's like, um, come on in, John Doe and Mark Well Tunnel. <laughs> she continues to walk this way, and she's come in here. I have a walk. That's just, that just how I roll. Can I roll Arcana on her? See if she's like. Sussy. She does look sassy, bro. Uh, I, I just kind of want to see if she looks to be under like a spell, maybe. Roll investigation if you want to do that. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that. Sixteen. Uh, you're to see if she's under a spell. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. Fifteen, not sixteen. Fifteen. Um, you wouldn't know if she is or isn't. Okay. She's pissed for exhausted. She's like, um, come on in, and she says, right this way, and opens up the door to her left. Okay. She walks in. She's gonna shut the door behind you guys too. Just okay. Michael and she's gonna walk behind you guys and she's gonna go back up to the front door. And Michael, you can hear her kind of putting the chains back on the door. And you hear her like fumble with the key and stick in the door. She's just up oh, just this way now. Whenever you guys walk in, it's a very, very nice furnished living room. Alistair and um Zazro, what do you guys want to be doing here? I would like to look around the perimeter of the house for a Entrance to the yeah. basement. An entrance to the are basement. Like windows that are unsealed. Um. So we'll start with we'll start with you, Zazril. Zazril, roll me a perception, and roll me a perception as well. I got a twenty nine. Okay. Okay. I got a um. What's my fucking perception? Uh, twenty four. Not. And you see if any windows are barricaded. Uh no. If, if any windows are open. Uh, like, like accessible for me to get into. Okay, as you guys are looking around the perimeter, Zazril, you find like a little dungeon area, like a dungeon entrance kind of thing, um, to the, like a little cellar door. Is it chained oh, up? Yes, it is chained up. You see like like three chains wrapped around it. Can I turn spark into a lockpick and try to lockpick it open? Sure. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll me a uh, roll me a sleight of hand disadvantage. Sleight of hand disadvantage. Alright, um, I got a six. Uh, spark f g forms into a key, and you're trying to, like, fumble with the, uh, um, like, the lock and shit. This lock seems like, uh, spot. it, like, f uh, spark wanted to fit into the keyhole. Damn. Like, something's, like, blocking you from actually even inserting into the keyhole. The fuck? Like, you, like, you try to stick it in, like, you feel a force pushing against you. Okay, new option. I'm gonna turn them into bolt cutters and try to cut the chain <laughs> Okay, we're going back to Alistair. Alistair, you roll me a stealth. Stealth? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, ten. Um, as you guys walk into the living room, Alistair, or, uh, Michael and John, you see Alistair literally walking past the window, just looking around. Um, go ahead and roll me, if you want. Uh, a performance check if you want to try to distract this these these maids. I would. I would like to start walking around and be like, ah, it's such a beautiful house, and I rolled so low. I would like to walk the opposite way, but like this place is stunning on the inside. Um, I got nat twenty <laughs> seven. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, and look at this wall over here, John. <laughs> and the light. Mark. And the it fire, it's beautiful. The, the, maid, the maids are like, oh, yes, it is. It is very I just nice. imagine like, the camera pans over, like, looking behind where we're all, like, looking at you. Yeah. Um, Alistair, uh, now the windows appear to be open. And as you're fumbling for, like, okay. the keys, like, trying to figure out, we're going to go ahead and get back to you two. Just, uh, um, uh, as you guys are here, this is, I can describe what the living room looks like it's to you guys. Yes, sir! How do you? Magic missile! <laughs> that goes wrong. So, um, whenever you guys walk into here, this is actually the living room and stuff. So, uh, in the dining room, you see an ornate dining table that stretches the length of this room. A crystal chandelier hanging above it imperiously. The silverware is tarnished, the dishes chipped, yet all are still quite elegant. Eight chairs, their backs adorned with sculpted elk horns, surround the table. Arched windows made of uh, latest work of iron and glass look out onto the small fog-swept estate. And um, 
and here in like this little uh, area, it's called the den. And you see a wood paneling, embroidered rugs, colorful furnishings, and a blazing fire makes this chamber stifling. Mounted above the mantel is an elk's head. Across from the hearth, tall, slender windows look out over dead gardens. Um, the maids are kind of in this area right here, and uh, you, one of them, the one that greeted you guys in, will go ahead and say something. She's like, um. Lady Fiona, uh, your guests for the book club are here. Um, John Doe and Mark Welltunnel. And you see uh, the door to over here open, and you hear the sound of heels kind of walking. You see a lady. You see a lady walk in here. She says. She a vampire. She walks in. She's just like this very skinny, upright, very posturous, mm. very pish posh kind of lady and stuff. She looks like a like a bitch. She she seems like she's snotty. She seems like she you can already tell like she knows that she's entitled. Name ten books. And uh, she kind of has a uh, mean, angry snarl in her face. I give it back. And she looks at you and she says, "Well, welcome." Hi, thanks for having us. Roll this is such a lovely Michael. Roll me deception. Great. <laughs> I would like to use. <laughs> Maybe both my hands are right. I'll take one of those coins. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Boom. And then deception. Thirteen? Thirteen. Interesting. Do the, uh, do the We're gonna go back before to <coughs> Zazriel and Alistair Chestane. Zazriel, you form um, spark into these bolt cutter bolt cutters, and you go to go ahead and try to cut these chains. Roll me a um, just roll me a strength check. Athletics. 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 Seventeen. Seventeen. Spark. You press down as hard as you can, and something's odd about these chains. It ain't they ain't budging. Mm. Alistair, what are you wanting to be doing? Um, I'm gonna go around that side of the house. The towards the garden area. Um, can I peeking around the edge? Can I see any like open windows? I am the angry. Um, now you see another window right in here. Uh, you don't really see any open windows just from this kind of side. Okay, then I'm going to walk around the other side of the premise. Okay. You walk all the way over here, and you see more windows, um, kind of like with the window still shut. You don't see any windows opened at all. Okay. Um, can I see anyone inside right now at all? Or me stealth, if you want to walk up to the window and try to look inside. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna try walking like out of the side of the window. Okay. Still roll me. Still, like, still, like, still roll me. Roll me stealth, still though. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, roll me reception as well. Reception. Mm -hmm. Um, twelve. Oh my Um. From this side, you see uh, what appears to be like a servant's room. It almost kind of looks like a like a hotel to a sense of all these beds that all kind of copy and paste, copy and paste. Okay. You don't How see. Are you it? Over in there? Uh, there's about four beds in there. Okay. And yeah, you do see a door on this end, on the this back side as well. I tell if it's locked or not. You're gonna have to go up to the door. We're gonna cut okay. back to Zazriel. Zazriel, uh, what do you want to do with this? Okay, well I know it's magical. I don't even have to roll for that. Can I mm. use my? I guess also kind of here too, from the window, your passive perception. You can also do see a uh, chef man in there who seems to be like cooking at some level. Would I be well. able to see him from the the gate to the downstairs? Because that's technically where I am right now. 
Uh, like vocals are really long. <clears throat> no, if I move, if I move you in the vicinity, it will actually move your character down into the area. So. If I actually move your character to that downstairs area, the the foundry will actually teleport your character down there. I want to keep doing that. So you are there, but you did like when you walked past, you saw okay. him there. Um, I'm gonna use the locket and I'm gonna summon the hot man that's in the locket. You haven't used it yet today, that's right. So um, are you using the lock up like the locket that at the okay? You uh, concentrate for a second, and the little lock opens up. And you see this little ghost spirit. Um, ethereal form kind of figure around you, human in shape, and it's just kind of floating there in the air, waiting to do your bidding. How do I break through this chain? Keys are needed. Why do I need to ask you one question? <laughs> hmm. It disappears. <laughs> keys. Do the... you know where I can get these keys? He kind of he points his finger towards the house. Like, as if, like, pointing inside the house. Is that the only way to get through here? Kind of sit, it kind of sits there just floating. And this little spirit form gets kind of sucked up back in your log. And it locks. All right, back to Michael. Kind of like a smart-ass response. Mm -hmm. Well, this cage. I know, bro. Michael I and Dalad being back to you guys. Yeah. Can I, like, Shoot. does it look like these maids? Are Before. Like... Actually, what were you saying? Do they look like their blood's low? Uh, what like you... they're really pale, right? They are pale, yeah. Okay, so they look she's like they're just pale. very, like... Okay. I feel like she's sucking their blood. She's definitely a vampire. She... she... I've seen you before. You're one of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, you probably have. This house is mocked. <laughs> she looks at you. I don't remember you. But you, I've definitely seen your face before. Would not surprise me. I am a model. <laughs> why don't Why don't you go ahead and take a seat? She She kind of motions to the dining room table. I shall pop a seat at the dining room table. And your friend, why don't you join him? Sure. Oops. This house is absolutely magnificent, by the way. I know. This architecture know. is beautiful. <laughs> The maids are like the maids. Uh, kind of like walk back a little bit. The maids are like, They're like the we'll be here. For, we'll be here for your, if your wishes, <laughs> Lady Fiona. And this one kind of walks in the room that Lady Fiona came from. She shuts the door behind her. Lady Fiona comes and sits a seat next to you, Michael. She says, "Tell me, what's your name?" Name was Michael. <laughs> Michael Tunnelwall. I knew it. No, I'm actually Mark. <laughs> she, uh, a, a smirk kind of spreads across her face. She says, I admire you, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Yeah, I want to fuck her. <laughs> where's, your, where's your other companions? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this free time over here. Munch on his finger. <laughs> <laughs> she looks over and says, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tasting the fabulous. What's <laughs> the sandwich? A hangnail, sorry. <laughs> what sorcery is this? <coughs> you actually can use Arcana like that, lady. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna come out of my form. She says, ah, I knew it. I didn't mean what I said about the architecture. It is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. I come here with no, the no ill intent. Where's your other companions? Rise with a sense of. Where's your other companions at? The plant? Don't give me away. The plant? Is that who you're talking about? I wouldn't really call him a companion. He's a, <laughs> it's kind of like a tool. The ones you know the ones that you use to stand up against this town. Where, the plant, yeah, he's like a tool. There was, there was four of you. Actually, I take it back. There was six of you. Six. Oh, um, yeah, about six of us. Yeah, like oh, I was saying, I had... <laughs> I have one we had a one big desk and planner. We sent them on their way fucking hiking. And, uh... <laughs> it freaked that kid. We that fucking killed him. I only have one companion. And that's him. The other three... Or... Four. Sorry, the other four were tools. To get to me... To get me... To where I want to be. Me and my partner... I'm not gay. <laughs> me and my partner no. here... Me and my partner here were attempting to gain influence. 
uh, you have definitely have uh, created a big target on your back here in this town. That we have. And I admire that. Okay. I might hate the Baron more than you guys hate the Baron. Doubtful. I... <laughs> and she looks over at this uh, she look, turns her head back on the table and looks over at the maid just Melissa bring these fine guests some food and she's of course and she she walks I feel like we should probably not eat she walks wait do what this way kill no oh yeah <laughs> do what I do have a dagger on by the way oh do you I do Oh, I I is it glowing? I'm gonna like hold her I mean, down and then she's gonna fucking yeah, bite yeah, me on the neck. Wait, if vampires bite like you, don't they turn you into a vampire? Can't. We're gonna switch back to Zazriel and Alistair Chastain. Okay. Zazriel, what are you doing? Kill that shit. <laughs> How big is the chimney? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, so there's a second story in this house, right? There's a second story. Are any of the windows to the second story open? Okay, can I... Alistair Chastain. <laughs> I'm here for the book club. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm thinking about it. Do it. Um, I might sniff. Run up to the window and scare the chef. <laughs> I feel like this is better game the fuck out of this. I think the best option would be to also get Zazriel in here. Uh, Alistair uh, Cat Chastain can, can probably stay outside. Can I, can I touch the fucking, like... The wood on this trap door. On this uh, oh, cellar. Not the chain. The, the fucking yeah, door. you put your hand. You is it? Can I roll Arcana? Can I roll? Is this magic? Yeah, go ahead and roll Arcana. Magical wood. Magical wood. Yes. I got a fifteen. You put your no. hand. I got a sixteen. Put your hand on this wooden. You first of all, you tell it's warm. It's warm. Like there's something inside there's hot. Um. Can I turn? Uh, you would kind of, you would obviously by now you would assume that uh, there's there's an like an enchantment uh, placed on these chains on this cellar door, but not the door. In in general, it has been enchanted. Really either cool. either right. these chains, this thing is enchanted, or maybe perhaps the ghostly figure, maybe the maybe the keys are truly the only way to open this. Maybe. Unless maybe you find some way else around it. As you're thinking, Alistair, what are you doing? For what? Join the book club. I'm going to join the book club. Yeah. You're muted. Hey, like, 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 one of those, like, latch things where people can see out of. Uh, this one is not. Okay. Um, can I silently try to see if the door is, like, why can I just, like, turn the knob and see if it's locked? Yep, roll me stealth. Roll me stealth. I lied to you, Parker. I lied to you, Parker. It does actually have a eye slit hole thing where someone can open it. Oh, shit. I want to do that then. Okay. That doesn't um, matter. I'm going to walk around the other. I'm going to check the rest of the perimeter and walk toward the right. As you walk over the edge, you see um, Zazriel sitting there like, trying to mess with this cellar door. What do you do? Uh. Hmm. Have you tried getting this open yet? I have. It's enchanted. Can you disenchant uh, it? Well, I could try. I'm gonna roll an arcana check on the door. What are you kind of checking for? Huh? What are you checking for? Magic. <laughs> um, wow. I rolled a 17. It's magical. I need to it's know magical. more in depth what you're doing besides just saying magic. Uh, like, 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 how it's, how it's enchanted, I guess. Yes, you know, with the third special edition. Uh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Magical Unbreakable Lock. What'd you get, 17? Magic, magic, magic. Yeah. 17? Yeah. Okay. It's shocking. Um, uh, I mean, it's kind of what Zazra kind of told you. He just basically just double-checked him. You know that it is, uh, locked from an enchantment. There's an enchantment that is... Um, specifically stopping people getting inside here. Is there a way to disenchant thing in the like There is, yeah. Enchant. It's called counter spell. Can I try using uh, heat metal on it? Yeah, go ahead. 
Okay. Uh, do you have to like roll me just like a spell, just a general spell attack kind of thing, you know? Like a D D twenty plus your spell modifier. Not twenty plus seven. Okay. Uh, you go up to it and um, you start heating these chains, and you can see actual like magic little sparks like fighting against your magic on these chains. And you are you you see your heat metal is actually starting to kind of win against these chains, and you see like a few of the little uh, kinks start to like kind of break off and melt and shit. And you can say if you probably keep here doing this for another like 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 five more minutes or so, you can probably melt it all away. Okay. Is that something you want to yeah, do? Concentrating on that, then. You'll do that. Yeah, okay, and Zazriel, do you want to do anything else? Can I help him? We're both magical people. Um, we're no, you are not magical. You don't have any magical spells or anything. Sure, you're only at your ability. Sure. You're kind of sitting there. Are you just kind of watching him do his thing? Um, I'm going to... Surely I can do something. Zazriel kind of like looking over shoulders and shit. With my fucking 23 natural perception. Yes, sounds good. <laughs> Michael... Oh, fuck. Do I hear an acorn, do I hear an acorn fall... <laughs> An acorn fall. Yeah. yeah do I, I, this is important. Do I and it does like a barrel roll to the kitchen. Four barrel roll three times. Shoot seventeen shots in the back of my patrol car. Reload. Oh. Fall on the ground. <laughs> and then I'm gonna shoot seven more times in the back of the patrol car. And I'm gonna crawl away like a. Did he actually say I'm hit? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He fell on the ground. I'm hit. I'm hit. And then he goes. Oh away. shit! Rolls, rolls, rolls. Stands on knees down. Thirteen shots later, drops his mag just on the floor. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit. He stands back up. Was he on something? Crawling away. Was he's he on, on the fence, bro? He's was he actually? <laughs> okay, uh, back to you, Michael and Dalabinian. Uh oh, vampire. Fiona. Yeah, the the maid comes uh, back quite fast, actually. Uh, I gotta find her real quick. Yeah, you're gonna eat the food, bro. You you have a death wish? Yes. He drank that food. <laughs> he still has some natural talent. I still have that. You should give it to her. Yeah. The finest blue. My lady, I bring this from the winery down the road. Only the finest. This shit's poison. How you doing? Take a sip, please. It's nice. Where I'll drink it first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> drink it all. I bet. <laughs> so, uh, this this the maid comes back. And she places down these food of uh, just like, uh, it's kind of like a, so you just have like a gravy and like stuffing kind of side. And uh, you see like these little strips of meats that you've never really seen before. She kind of places them down in front of you. She says, enjoy. She kind of steps back from behind Lady Fiona. And Lady Fiona's like, please eat. You're my guests here. Tell me. Are you read books now? Why have you come here? <laughs> well, you read books, obviously. Hmm. Well, we came to talk. We have heard the word that you are a, an ally of Strahd. What would make you say something like that? I don't know, just rumors. That's what we're coming here to clarify. But I would like to know. Um, hmm. <laughs> we would like to know if these rumors are true. Are you allies of Strahd? You say um, you do not like the bear. Can I like? Can I like? Like stretch this out to like cover more time? Strahd Von Okay, yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just like the Baron. I, know. I hate the Baron. Why do you hate as, the Baron? As actually, as I'm we... actually interested. Why do you hate the Baron so much? I mean, you could probably guess why we don't like the Baron a whole lot. I should be the rightful ruler of Valaki. I would treat the people much better here. And I believe my family deserves to be the ruler, the ruler of the city. And I would not classify my, myself as an ally of Strahd. I people view him as a tyrant. I just I just view him as a landlord that's not very nice to his uh, well, you know, his customers, if if so to speak. Like most corporations. So saying that uh, I'm an ally of Strahd is uh, far from the truth. I do not hate him, but he's not as bad as people say he is. That is fair. You stay at you you keep stay out of his way and he won't bother you. That's his fact. Well, the same that you would like to take over this town is—is is that why you're here? Perhaps. Is it maybe replace of the Baron? I've been trying for many years to overthrow the Baron. 
he does not deserve to be the ruler of the city. I do. Me. They should praise me. And I respect, I respect you standing up to the ban. I do ask, why would you, in this moment of weakness out there, why did you not try to make a move? Why would I put uh, a target on my back like you two did? That's. But you said you tried to overthrow him well, before. Let's... Does that not put a target on your back already? Well, let's see. No one or knows. Are you me. trying in more like no one street know, ways? No one knows that I, I did it. Just jump. Hmm? you think about it, you said you don't want to put a target on your back. Yes. But us two. Please, what? please eat the food. My, my cook. My. I'm not quite hungry. I, I do apologize. It is very yeah, kind of you to offer food. Um, sure. you guys actually did not eat breakfast when you guys kicked out. So I'm. It I would actually be nice. that with the fact that I do not trust this lady, okay. and my instincts are going to tell me that eating this food is probably not a good. Okay. Thing. Um, I. I will just say for now though, you guys will, uh, if you don't eat soon, you will suffer level of exhaustion. If that makes, is that okay with you guys? And, okay. I will start to eat, but I'm gonna avoid the meat fry. Okay, sounds good. It tastes actually, it tastes actually pretty good. It actually really does taste pretty good. This is delicious, by the way. She says, yes, my my chef is one of the best in town. Well, let's see. The crack open a we, we would like the Baron gone. Clear our name from this town. Oh, I would love to, I would love to see him. And actually, I'm actually kind of glad to see you. Uh, I was having people earlier actually trying to go out and find you, but I do not know where they went. I was hoping to meet them uh, sooner, but I guess sooner uh, was not possible. Yes, unfortunate circumstances have led to us meeting now, but now better than never. So, but yeah, that works. Works. <laughs> let's think here, Jeff. Let's put two and two together, I'd say. Yeah. You don't want a target on your back, you want to roll the town. We obviously don't mind if the target is on our back. Now, perhaps we could help each other. Yes. Well, and what would that be? I well, didn't say this, of course. But no more Baron, no more target on our back. Town gets saved, and you become the new rifle rook. And all just from circumstance. You wouldn't be tired of this at all. I'm Maybe listening. Perhaps. I'm listening. I don't like the Baron. Just we're gonna cut. Me. We're gonna cut real quick to Zazriel and. Uh, <laughs> And 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 um and uh, Zazel. So, uh, Alistair. After a, a, after a few more minutes, uh, you see that the final kink of the chain breaks away, and you see like this little purple spiritual energy kind of like float out of the chains, and the chains sag down, and you see now that before you is the the cellar entrance it is now. Uh, unburdened from these chains. What do you guys wish to do? Let's head down. Um, yeah, let's head down there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright. You guys will... Uh, you open up the uh, cellar doors and you proceed down into the area. Down there is a big gargoyle. No! Fuck. Down there. Is it's a guard. Wait a second. I know you. I know you. And who is who is going down first, by the way? Um, I, I'm fine with going down first. Okay. Okay. But the stairs are really wet and slippery. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Is it we end up four in minutes of stairs? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go. So. This is what uh, Zazriel and. Uh, <laughs> Alistair, this is what you guys see as you walk down to the cellar area. As you walk, as you walk down here, you can instantly. Uh, actually, I can just kind of read off what it says. Like my fuck, can't read so much. Okay. This large, this large root cellar has a dirt floor, and you see two ascending flights of stone steps enclosed by wooden railings stand across from one another. There's actually another staircase over there that's also going up. You can guess it's somewhere in the house. Yeah. Um, tracks in the earth lead from one staircase to the other, and the other trails go from both staircases to the center of the bare west wall. Four neatly made cots are set in a row against the south wall. And as you walk in, um, you hear like a humming sound coming from the direction of that way. So farther down, you hear a humming, like a humming of uh, people humming. People humming? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to skip back to. 
Uh, <laughs> can you guys shut up? We're trying to read upstairs. Back to. I'm gonna stop on the way. <laughs> Sorry, seriously, some dumb bitch coming downstairs. Mm-hmm. Can you tell them to fucking stop? The fuck out. Yes. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, I have a new elaborate plan in my head. You go to the basement to piss. You need to piss and find me out of here, bro. I was gonna use the Baron negotiation to acquire the Sun Sword. But if they're gonna take the Sun Sword before we can take out the Baron, when she finds out we have the Sun Sword, we still offer our services <laughs> to kill the Baron. Game we kill Strahd, rest. then we kill the Baron. <laughs> Probably the Baron <laughs> yeah. first. No, no, no. We. Maybe. <laughs> so, what's this plan you're talking about, Michael? Seems like we're both in need of a little assistance. Of course. And then, I would like to address another rumor. Hey, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, can you two roll me stealth? Yes. Al, sir, roll me stealth. Why roll me stealth? I need to use the bathroom equipment. But yeah. If I find you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, what did you get again, Parker? 18, I heard? Or 17 18, or something? Yeah. What did you get, Azrael? 18. I'll show it to you on my hands. Okay. Alright, thank you. Um, anyways, back to you, Michael. So, what is your plan you're talking about? Of course, I'd like to second address. You are in the possession of the Sun Sword, correct? Her demeanor changes as soon as you mutter those words. She says, I see. <laughs> she's like. She stands. She scoots back from her table and stands up. What about it? I was just curious. There is. It is an item of great value, and for our services, we're just talking maybe about. I don't know. An exchange. You occur a cure, a cure, a cure, a great valuable position. The rightful. Yes, the rightful owner of the town. Where did you get this information from? It's another one of those rumors situations. We heard around... There's no... That's no such rumor. Well, that's where we heard it from. Roll me deception. (laughs) Okay, character. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so my character actually fucking kills himself. A nine. What do you say exactly? I say... Oh, you said it's rumor, right? I said, well, it was just a rumor. I don't just a rumor. particularly pinpoint where we got the exact... Just a rumor. Just like a rumor that we heard that you were allies with Strahd, you see. I did not mean any ill intent by this question at all. I was just speaking over mind. Maybe I should have held my tongue. She says, <clears throat> a rumor like that is not spread amongst the Velaki. And as she's talking, makes sense. She just kind of stops. As if, like, she's, like, listening to something. Rats. <laughs> she looks at you guys, and her she looks very angry. She's must just, be rats. She looks at you and she says, What are you doing? And you see her just kind of, like, storm past, you guys. Oh, shit. Uh, Do I she, have time to maneuver? Huh? Do I have time to Can maneuver I stuff this stuff down my face really fast? <laughs> what? <laughs> And uh <laughs> She goes, What are you guys doing? You see her open the door behind you. You see her open the door behind you and shut it. This house is quite nice. This is quite nice. Thank you for the meal and the wonderful maids. I mean I killed you now. And uh um the maid says she says Lady Fiona would like if you guys just stay seated and wait here for her company. <laughs> She'll be just right back. <laughs> and Kill her eyes. Anything you guys want to do real quick? Before I switch back Here's settings? <laughs> then, bro, I guess I stand up out of the chair? Push mark? Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at this lady. I look at her eyes. What color are her eyes? Dark brown. As you guys are standing up from this table. He... He does. You see, um, actually, no a second. Okay. Parker becomes the dirt, and I'm like, <laughs> 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 Don't do it! <laughs> 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 <laughs
<laughs> All right. As you stand up, as you st- as you stand up, Michael, um, you feel this just this sharp sting right into your chest, and you see before you on this kitchen table here, just kind of materialize from oh, invisibility yeah. this little imp creature, and he just he just spears you with his tail into his chest. He's kind of sitting there. He take eleven points of damage. I smash my kid. What? <laughs> uh, go okay. ahead and roll me initiative. Okay. Chris, can I join? Yeah. And this lady's like, "Oh my gosh!" A fourteen for my initiative. Eighteen. Okay. Just uh, acting like she don't know that the imp is there. Um, just so you guys know, you guys will have disadvantages on all your belly checks right now since you guys are suffering from level exhaustion. Uh, you have a little exhaustion. Down to Zazviel and <laughs> Alistair now. Does act like a house of Fraser, bro, to work? You told me to check the face. <laughs> How'd you break past my lock? I'm an appraiser. I know every lock. <laughs> Breaking the people's home. I'm gonna now appraise your life. Zazriel and Alistair, you guys are here down the steps. <laughs> what do you guys wish to do? I'm gonna fucking. Is that a crate? Uh, yeah, it is a crate, yes. <laughs> Why? Why would your kid do that? Oh, good question. Do I hear. Okay, I roll a perception. Yep. Yeah. I rolled a nat 20. Do I hear anything? Um. Besides the humming. Uh. This humming actually sounds more like an incantation. Blood flame lake. Yes. Um, that is all you really can hear. Can you hear anything else? No. Mm mm mm. anything you want to do? Um, I'm gonna get a, probably step outside and get a closer look at everything. Like out of the cellar again? Out on the steps. You walk yeah, past. You, I'm sorry, I'm forward. you walk past Zazriel and go down the steps. And over here, you can see a uh, stone slab door right there with uh, like handprint on, like like with paint. Like an actual, someone painted a hand print on uh, that wall. Uh, if I can ping it. I don't know how to ping it. Kind of like right there, yeah. On that wall. And you see a flight of stairs that appear to go upstairs as well. Just meter. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk up to the, the door and roll Arcana to, to check to see if, like, if it's open by magic. Okay. Go ahead. Zazriel, is there anything when you do what you're doing? Um, I'm gonna go with him. Huh? Go with him. Okay. Yeah. Zazriel walked behind you. Uh, a ten. Ten. Uh, you, so you're going up there and trying to check to see if it opens up with like with magic or a magical presence you can sense. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you kind of go up to it and kind of like look at it for a bit. You don't No, you really couldn't tell if, if anything's magical properties or uh Okay. Can I try to like roll a stone? Roll the stone? <laughs> like like push on it, you mean? It's a, a door. You can clearly tell it's a door. Yeah, I try Yeah. Yeah, try 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 pushing it. Okay. Um Yeah, go ahead. I mean just uh yeah, you open the door up. And uh no hesitation. You open it up, dude. And uh, inside, you see, uh, like, literally, like, this classic Satan devil-worshipping circle. And you see all these people kind of, um, like, coming together and seeing, uh, and, and uh, they're, like, whispering words to one another. And one of them stops and looks at you. And they're like, what beast have we summoned? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go back to upstairs now. <laughs> Uh, uh, which one of you is chanting wrong? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which one of you is fucking yeah. Jeff is you, bro. Banish the beast, goddammit. You didn't study anything, you fucking monkey. They see my fucking sculpted ass face. It's, I, actually, I actually can kind of show you what it looks like. We summoned. It's loading in for you. We summoned the mob master. <laughs> Boy, That's kind of what I, Oh, it's loading in. Take lessons. Everyone take notes. Everyone get down. That's kind of what the area looks like. There's like five chairs sitting down and stuff. That's five cup chairs. That's See that? There, bro. It was going hard in the middle of the circle. Can I go in the middle of the circle? Yeah. 
Are they playing Soggy Biscuit? <laughs> are they playing Soggy Biscuit? No. They aren't. That's it's unfortunate. Biscuit. Damn. Can I ask them to play Soggy Biscuit? I learned it in auto tech. Hey, thanks for summoning me. Let's play Soggy Biscuit. All right. <laughs> Michael and Dalabinian. That's what you should actually ask them, Parker. Thanks play? for summoning me. Can we play Soggy Biscuit? Now? And this little imp creature. All right, yeah. Um. Michael, you're first. Hell yeah. I'm going. Oh, I got 18. Oh, I got oh, did I write you guys the wrong 14. way? Oh, my bad. I wrote you guys the wrong side. You're first, then. I had I wrote Michael down as 18, and he was 14. Michael Ussie. Michael Ussie. <laughs> what do you want to do? Um. Mark Walton. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. I am going to use my bonus action to cast my, my flame blade. Okay. So... <clears throat> I, I, yeah, I can make a melee spell attack with my fiery blade that I summon into my hand. On hit, the target takes 3d6 damage. I'm going to use that. I'm going to go up to the imp and I'm going to fucking slash that little bitch. But I'm also going to use my new feat that I obtained. The feat that lets me, um, the elemental adept one. So I'm going to choose that. Um, so like I'm going to target him with it, choose him to no longer be resistant to fire. Okay, so you're pulling the flame sword as like an action. That's a bonus pull- action, and then I, I'm going to attack with an action, and okay. I'm using my feet. Well, my, I'm not using my, that's what my feet does. Yeah, okay, I know what you mean. So now he is no longer, if he is already resistant to fire, he is no longer resistant to okay. fire. Okay, roll two. Okay, roll the hit. So you pull out this cool ass fire sword. Roll the two so that it doesn't matter. You pull out this cool ass fire sword, and you run at him, and he's just on the table, and you swing, and he just like, he just dodges out of the way. And he, he kind of he's kind of laughing. He's like, eh. Damn it. Uh, Michael, your turn. I'm gonna pull out my great sword. I'm gonna go. The maid behind. He's like, ah, what the hell? I'm gonna try to smash this dude <laughs> on his head. Okay, you run up to the side of the table with your sword. You try to smash it down. Not one. Okay. You take your sword and you just. Like you try to swing like, because it hurt you so much. You go and you slash your sword in the table, and the, you split the table in half, and like shit, just the like the food on the other end of your table goes flying through the air. The table gets split in that quarter area, and your sword just kind of wedged into that fucking Damn. table. So you have to roll a strength check next time to rip it back out of the yeah, table. My motherfucking action, sir. Yeah. I ripped out my sword. Roll, roll athletics check. Fuck yeah. Oh, 17. Nice. <laughs> just rip out of the table. Fuck yeah. No, yeah you, can te- you can text them now. It's Jackson shirts. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna now hit him again with my great sword. With the fu- Oh yeah, baby. A fucking 23 to hit. Yeah, you hit him. I gotta use the new deck for this shit. Boom. I get a reroll both of you. I got a two and a one, right? For my first roll. Reroll and roll two one. <laughs> How much damage you do, bro? I did, uh... A massive whopping four damage. Wow. God. You take your sword and rip it out of the table and you just swing and you make a little nick across his little tiny little frail chest. And the blood just kind of splatters on the table. <laughs> Looks at <like> you. <laughs> Alright, um, it's now this imp's turn now. I have a, I have a counter blade. This dude doesn't work. This imp's gonna be like, <laughs> and you just see like, this little magical cloak just, oh, and he turns invisible. What the fuck? Can I roll perception? You see him on the table. He's when he vanishes on the screen. It's pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of, yeah, sh- uh, your natural perception actually. You can kind of hear like, his little footsteps kind of walking around, <laughs> like, but you can't know exactly where it is. You kind of, like, and this and this maid over here is just like, "What are you doing? What? Lady Fiona's gonna kill me! What are you doing?" Shut her up, <laughs> you! You know what I'm saying? Um, what are we doing? Can I? Perception? Uh, so like a pinpoint for now, you guys are out of initiative, and yes, you can roll perception. I really preemptively cast uh, a thing called the Aegis. Mm-hmm. I summon a magical shield when I'm targeted by a range attack. I take no damage. Okay, sounds good. Perception, nat 20. Nat 20? Uh, roll, <laughs> roll me disadvantage because he's, he's invisible. Okay. 18 plus. Nice. Uh, like, I don't know. Zero. 18. Uh, yeah. You can, uh... Uh... You can see... You can tell that he's down the end of the table area. So I could... could I use you you know where he's at. Um... Yeah, go ahead and roll me, like, a, uh... I was just getting a spe- missile. 
How, how about this? Can you I use you, you can't missile? use magic missile, but you you can't you can't really see him, so it won't be able to target very well. How about this? Can I use magic missile at second level spell and then sacrifice two of them to like cover an area so they don't like actually yeah, okay, that, the other two do? That sounds good. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm gonna use second level spell slot and then I'm gonna shoot him with the with the. Mm -hmm. So you're sacrificing two of them, right? Huh? You're sacrificing two of them, right? To not two spells, just two of the missiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many spells, how many missiles we have in, in general then? Uh, at second level, I'll have four. So you have two more. Two. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, that's that's fair he enough. Is still nine damage. Dang, dude. You send these little missiles at him and his back, and he's like, but he's jumping off the table for a split <laughs> second, and uh, your missiles like actually make like an outline of him, and just he just falls to the ground. Oh, Down over here, just on his back. Dead. I don't know. Back to uh. No. <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm, I'm gonna move. Look at that boy. Back to uh. Zazriel and if I can uh. Michael. Oh. I think I went to the wrong one on accident. <clears throat> yep, I did. Here it is. It's, it's, it's loading if you guys. They these people here, they're like, what have we just summoned? <laughs> Uh, what do you guys want to do? These people don't... Can I see in the room, too? Yeah, you can see behind, like, Alistair's. Oh, okay. Alistair's are quite short. He's only, like, 4'10". Oh, okay. Sweet. You can kind of see over his head and stuff. Um, can I... Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, we hear you. Sorry, my, my entire thing just cut out for, like, like 20 seconds. Okay, yeah, you're good, Parker. Uh, what are you doing, Zazio? Can I blink as my bonus action mm -hmm. into the center of the circle, use my free action to summon the fire sword, and then do the attack called... Radiance, where I slam down my sword. Enemies within 15 of feet of you must make a dexterity save on fail. They take 48 radiant damage, half on success. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say with all that, they will have advantage on the saving throw, but they can. But you can do that. Okay. So you blink in, mm -hmm. then you summon the sword in front, and and then you slam. Everyone's like, like, what the? <laughs> what do you say? Greetings? Oh, he's... Hellions. Oh, Hellions. Greetings. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> you you come in, you summon the sword, like mm. like they see you by the time they brace for cover, and they're all gonna roll. Saving throws. What do they have to beat? Uh, what do they have to beat? Is it what they have to beat? I think it's a 13. Okay. Guy. They my wisdom, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, they have to beat an 18. Uh. Okay, so the guy up there passes. He rolled a uh, twenty. I'm not joking. You know, the guy at the very top passes. Uh, passes with his modifier bonus. Okay, that guy fails down there. And that guy. Okay, four of them success. This guy down, I can't really tell, but this guy right here, uh, he fails. So go ahead and roll the damage for them. Eighteen. So the ones who took half take nine. Okay. And the that's one good. Takes eighteen. We're all gonna shiv me now. I'm fucking Julius Caesar. <laughs> so this guy, the guy in that corner over there. Yeah. Um, he just erupts. Where's his? Why is he blue? He like his body, just his little cloak, and so just ripples and just poof, against the top of the wall. <laughs> uh, the chairs and shit kind of like fly backwards. Yeah. Uh, then the other guys kind of brace in time, and their backs like. Oh! <laughs> they're, they're all bloodied, but uh, they're like, what the, what the hell? Uh, roll initiative. Alright. Uh, Alex, are you? Yes. What'd you get? Um, 15. What'd you get? I got four. <laughs> okay. 15, Parker, you said? Alright, Alistair, it's your yeah. turn first. Okay, um, I'm going to cast. I grow from that entire room. Spike growth? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's the what's the range on that bad boy? 20 feet circle? Um, 20 feet. 20 feet, uh... Yeah. From where? From the center? From the center of the thing? Yeah, hitting everyone. Can I only... Can, can it everyone? I'm gonna move it. It should. Um... Yeah, three. Yeah, that should be, yeah, that should hit the fire. That's four. I'm gonna make it bigger, actually. 
I think it's literally perfect for that fucking room. Yeah. Two, three. That's... Okay, yeah, it is perfect, you're right. Okay, everyone's inside is afflicted by it, and what do they have to do? Is Azrael afflicted by it too? Um, yes, I remember that. Okay. Um, as, uh, it's, it's 2 yeah, four last time. for 5 feet movement. <laughs> okay. Perception um, versus my I can use Link as a right. It's only when they move in it though, right? Huh? It's only when they- okay, thank you, Parker. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, it is now going to be their turns. The guy up there see, ooh, sees that spell and he's like, Ugh! he's not going to move. The guy in, you can't really can't see. He fails. Yeah, so they roll perception, they can see it. Um, the guy, this guy right here, he starts running through it at you, Zazzer, with his dagger drawn. And he, this little spike just kind of ripple through his body and like pierce him to death. And, like, and his body just, he just falls over, he just falls over dead. He dies. Vegetation and fire. Why is the blood not popping up? It kind of makes me mad. <laughs> Anyways, that that cult over there dies. Is he invisible or some shit? Um, let's see this guy. That guy sees it. This guy's like, what the fuck? He just saw his friends get murdered. Let's see, that's the guy. Okay, this. Okay, all the last three guys see this and they saw one of his the one of the cultists run in there and just get speared to death. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, this happens. Oh, this happens. I I can rock and talk about concentrating, right? That's something I can do. Yeah. Uh unless it's one of those spells where you actually have to like stand still, kinda. I just can't believe. I'll, I'll I'll let you walk in. I feel that's cool enough. So you're walking in? Right, I'm gonna walk in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk towards them and say, why did you summon me? <laughs> uh, they're like, Aah! Check out deception. In my sleeve. Deception? <laughs> deception, Parker? Yeah, show the deception. Is that, is that, is that uh, no, don't worry about that. Uh, Parker, go me and roll me perception. I want you to roll me perception. Okay. 20 not natural. 20 not natural? All right, back to uh, Michael and Dalabinian. Hellions. <laughs> they summon fucking uh, what's his name? Oh, now the hell blood's boy. popping up. Okay, cool. You still need some Hellboy. No, he comes out. So <laughs> Looks like there was a murder. <laughs> oh shit, Hellboy. All right, uh, Michael and uh, Dalabinian. Uh, your turn, Dalabinian. Uh, yes, your, yes, your, uh, Dalabinian, what do you want to do? You're up first. Okay. Probably. Alright. Mates. Stay calm and <laughs> take a seat in the corner. There will be no harm to you. She sits on the couch and she starts, like, starts, like, hi starts panicking. It's fine. And Go this and adorable woman's behind you. And this maid's like, what's going on? Oh my god! I want to go back in there. <laughs> 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 Room until otherwise. You shut the door on her. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably start moving. <laughs> yes, let's move. I'm gonna walk by, and as we're walking past the, like, the imp, I'm gonna step on it. And, like, sh fucking crush it. Yeah, as you're walking by, you step on it, and you feel its tiny bones inside of its body just crush, and the little blood just. You can, you've now confirmed its death. <laughs> now I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna chase behind for as far as we can for our turn. He was trying to. He, like how he just ran. He didn't. He didn't dead plus. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. Table. I want the fucking blood smear to show up because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it, it's literally like it an. Up on the cultist down there. Yeah, and for some for reason just did, but then. Uh... This doesn't want to. There we go. There. It's like a little foot sprint. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, you two are running after uh, the I have my flame sword. Okay. Also, the dagger that is on my, uh, mm -hmm. my backpack or on my hip. Can I pull that out? Yep, you pull it out. Oh, hell yeah. I have the dual wielder feet as well, so I can wield both of my... Actually, you... I can't give that a great sword. Never mind. Uh, so I have it on my hip. And it, it glows whenever undead or vampire near, correct? Yes. It is not glowing. Oh, cool. She's not a vampire. Very cool. Don't well, she's that. not nearby. <laughs> you know? Um... You open this door. We, we just make the wrong calls constantly, so we might as well just keep. The so you walk here, Chris, uh, and Dalabinian. There's an upstairs area, a flight of stairs to go up. There's a door in front of you, and there's a door where you came out from. She rolled a shitty perception and went upstairs instead. <laughs> what do you guys want to do here? Can I roll perception? 
Uh, by, by by this time, actually, I'm sure you could probably hear this big out just boom <laughs> coming from downstairs. Doubtful. Can, like, I, like, can I like open the kitchen door? Is the chef in there? You open the door and you see this yeah, fucking man, scary. and there's like, he's like, what the what the hell's going on? What chef. the fuck? What the chef? Fuck? Where's the staircase for downstairs? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Your master about. needs our help. Huh? Your master needs our help. Where, where, where is the staircase downstairs. to downstairs? They're interrupting I the don't know club, what Jeff. you're talking about! The book club is being interrupted, Jeff. Where's downstairs? What book club are you talking about? <laughs> Your fool was doing like this, by the way. <laughs> oh, no! He's just raging. <laughs> it's like the guy who gets the milk cart and pulls it pull in his fed. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in, the, in there yeah, and look same. to the left. You walk inside. <laughs> Put you there. Uh, you guys see more doors to your left over there. Yeah, I'm gonna, maybe we can't really. Oh, yeah. See some more doors to your left over there. That's just like, what? He's like, back. Like, get out of my kitchen! Get out of my kitchen! Whoa, 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 Chef, I was downstairs. Chef, I don't know way. what you're talking about. This lady, leave Fiona, come through this way. Uh, yeah, she did earlier. What? Which way did she go? That way. That way. Which door does he point to? Uh, he points to the door. The left or front? The uh, let me check out the front one. Go to the front one. All right, let's go there. Thank you, Chef. Let's go, let's Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. I am ready for dessert whenever you are, Chef. Fuck Please. you. <laughs> chef, we're the scallops, Chef. <laughs> you open the door up here. The cook in the burnt pan, you fucking dick. He's like, fuck you. You fucking dick. You donkey ass, dumbass. You walk into this uh, you room right here. You walk into this... <laughs> You walk into this like uh like storage area. You walk into the storage area at this oh, that's uh, patient another door. How much cush is in those boxes, bro? How much good how much how much good you knock off? Um you uh you bust one of the, the things up with your sword and out spills like these potatoes, carrots and like some other like like vegetables and shit. Um roll me roll me roll me perception. Fucking seventeen. Ooh, you you something catches your eye in there, bro. Those barrels right there. Full of fent. They're not full of fent. Just full of something better. On the on the like uh stamped onto the barrels, you see the dragon berry one. Why the best one oh, that shit. the old man said that they don't have much anymore. Yeah. And you see uh, like all you see like five barrels and they all have the same thing on them. Damn. John, the two alcoholics. So much alcohol. So much wine. The, you hear the chef like, Whoa. "Don't take this wine, please." We can take that to Strud's castle and get lit with him. True. True. Thank you, chef. I'm gonna close this door. No, no, please don't. Oh, that's the wine, chef. <laughs> Break the barrels. The wine, the wine later, John. Let's keep moving. Okay, let's go. There's another door right here. You guys wanna walk through that one? Yeah. Okay. I actually opened the door. I'm gonna go ahead and just. Same with that thing that's underneath uh, the shelf. Yeah. I see it. I think he's looking at the leg of the table. Fuck! There you go. Uh, it brings you guys to this door right here. This little area. Um, you see a, uh, a door to your up there. Uh, you see a door right there. And you see a door right there. <laughs> Three doors. Go to the left one. The one that I can kind of describe. I think I can describe what this room looks like. Let's see. Let's see. It's easy. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's just a back door <laughs> area. Uh, which door do you guys want to choose? There's a quite can a bit. Unlock the back door. <laughs> yeah. You go and you unlock it. I uh, pull the chains off and shit, and it's unlocked now. Okay. Now let's go downstairs. Like true dollar. Which 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 way are you going? You open the door. Come to this room. It's just a blank room now. Perception or investigation, I guess. Good. Can I look for uh, what appears to be like maybe floor panels that yep. don't look connected or? Yep yep yep. yep. Hmm, make your dude mentally challenged today. What am I rolling? Uh, investigation. investigation yeah. Eight. It's a servant's coat and aprons hang from hooks in this room. The boots are neatly lined up against the wall. Eight, and you're looking for like any like misplaced shit. Maybe what appears to be like 
Yeah, levers, stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about. You're searching for shit? You can't find anything, bro. Michael? No, there was someone else there. Yeah. Hmm? What? Perhaps Michael can maybe do something if he wants to. Can you take a look around this room and see if there's anything off about it, maybe? Maybe use looks an like investigation? Looks like a cool. I don't believe it! As you guys are sitting there, you're just like, oh, damn, you motherfucker! Can um, I, like, hit the ground with my foot? Yeah, it's... Does it, hit you? Does it feel, like, echoey or, like, hollow below it? Eh. A little bit. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna also look for any, like, scratches on the wood or anything that like, shows that the wood would be moving. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. I wanna roll for it, though. Take, like, this roll's gonna be decent. I bet it's 13, but I'm gonna roll. 13. That's a good-ass full throw. Shit's loading. Come on, thing. Being that good because you're not good. <laughs> I'm that good. All right, uh... Zaz, mm -hmm. your turn. Wait, no, I'm a bad. Alistair, your turn. You're first, I believe. You are first. Uh, last time I asked them why, why they summoned me. Oh yeah, they're just panicked, bro. They just they're getting fucking killed right now. They're not gonna respond back to this. Like, what creature is that? Uh, I'm going to. Hmm. 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 Three. I'm going to uh, unconcentrate my spell, and I'm going to. Uh, walk up to the guy up top, and I'm going to inflict wounds on him. Is it this, this guy right here? The blood yeah. splatter showed back up. Yeah, uh, thank God. <laughs> um, so does a 23 hit? Yes, the hits. This okay. Gotta roll, uh, how much is this? 3d10s? Probably 2d10s. 3d10, yes. Okay. Holy shit. I remember this. Bro, it's really flexible. Hold on, you got three. Ah, 16 damage. 16 damage? Damn. Yeah, you unconcentrate your spell, you walk up to him, and you just, your, this magical energy hand, you just swipe across his gut, and like, you just like, rip intestines and shit out of his stomach. And his intestines shit just spill on the ground. He's like, he drops his dagger to the ground and falls on his knees, and he just keels over dead. He just dies. And now I'm going to yell at the other two people to stand down. I'm on Sure. Hell yeah. Twelve. Twelve? Uh. Yeah, 12. Okay, let me see. Nah, thirteen to fourteen. They're not. They're like, yeah. what? What the? What the fuck? will kill you. Uh, <laughs> All right, Zaz, your turn. Um, I'm gonna Phoenix snap. One of them's going to that guy, the other one's going to that guy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay. Does a 18 hit? Uh, yes. Okay. That's for the top guy? Mm -hmm. Okay, 20 fucking 4. Or 23. Alright. 86 plus wisdom modifier. One guy takes nine damage, the top guy takes nine damage. Okay. And he's scorched. The bottom guy takes five damage. Okay, and shit. He's scorched. Damn. This uh this guy uh on the top dude, uh your fiery phoenix flies right to his head and his head just erupts into this blood mist and just shoots all over the room and shit. <laughs> Holy shit. And uh he's dead, obviously. Can I use my bonus action to teleport to the switch for the door. Like on the inside, is there a switch for the door on the inside? It's just an actual, just like an actual like stone door. It's an door. actual door. Oh, yeah. Can I close it? Use my bonus section to teleport there and then to close it. I want to lock this guy in here. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you shut the door. There's no, it doesn't appear to be any lock on this door. Okay, I'll just fucking slam. <laughs> you you, in front of you shut the door and he's like, oh, he's like bullet wounded and she's like, please, please. I, I didn't know this was going to happen. That's it, interrogate him, Alistair. He, he drops his knife and goes like, please. Yeah. What are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna grab him by the throat. <laughs> you run up to him, and you grab him by the throat. Talk! I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stand behind him, I'm gonna pull the goodbye sack, and I'm gonna like, hold it to his neck. Oh shit, you pulled the sack, you're yeah. aiming at him, he's like... Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. You're intimidating this bitch out of the mind. What are you doing? You guys are just choking him like... Talk! <laughs> 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 
Batman. It's like, what do you want to talk about? I'm gonna use guidance on whatever he's gonna do next. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna drop him and say, "What are you doing down here?" He's like, Ugh, I, "I was gonna summon something cool." Like what? <laughs> Devils, maybe. For the, who? To do our bidding, please. Why here? <laughs> Cause this place holds great power. Please don't hurt me. I didn't know this is the first time anything ever happened. Usually we only get like e coins and stuff. Well, you summon this guy this time. <laughs> we didn't know we could summon him. We're sorry. Well, I'll unsummon you, please. We? No. He said, we're too bad now. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know who you are. Are you one of the devils too? Alistair, ask any qu any questions. <laughs> Does the lady know you're down here? <clears throat> lady, you mean Miss Miss Walker? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's her house. <laughs> are you summoning for her? Are, are you said? Are you, did you ask? Are you summoning for her? Yes. She says, no. He she helps us. How? I'm, 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 I'm gonna put a deep range of this throat. Like, I'm gonna put a deep range of this throat to make her feel more comfortable. How? You're saying how? What do you mean how? Like, how do you help? Yeah. How does she help her? How, how does she help you? How does she help you? She helps us. She helps us get coins and stuff. Coins? Why are you trying? Why, why, why did you summon me? What do you want me to do for you? We didn't mean to summon you. We're just trying to get a devil to do our biddings. What do you want me to do? Yeah, what is your bidding? I, I, I don't know. I haven't had time to think about it. I just want to live now. <laughs> think quick. I Just let me live, please. <laughs> That's what I want. Can we goot him? Yeah. Want to goot him? Goot him. Right, He's I'm the gonna, best I'm going to hit him over the head with the gold gold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to knock him out with my gold eyes. Okay, roll the hit. I need advantage. Actually, don't roll them and roll damage. Just roll damage. Just, just, just roll damage. Just roll damage. You have him at freaking point. 15 plus. What, it, I just, just roll damage. It's it. Okay. Um, roll damage? Yeah. Fuck with that fucking damage on this thing. Uh, um, 1d8. Two handed. You can use it. Yeah. Um, I don't believe so. It's just a simple club, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a quarter staff. Oh, yeah, D8. Oh, did it? Oh shit. Uh, can you? D8, D8? D8 two handed. Yeah, just hold D8 plus your strength. All okay, right. Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, nine. Yeah, you just you just how do you how do you want to whack him, bro? Like. All right. <laughs> He's like standing up against the wall. I'm gonna take the club. Oh, I fucking hit him across the head. <laughs> you just sideswipe his face, and blood just yeah. flies across the wall. Are you, are you gonna kill him? Huh? Are you gonna kill him? Is he unconscious right now? At that point, you you kill him. You're just gonna kill him, unless okay, you're. Sure. Yeah. 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 Run, 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 run. Just a little blood spot. <laughs> <laughs> you just whack him across the face. Uh, <laughs> can I inspect their bodies? Can I, can I, can I, like, do you have anything on them? Like, any, like, summoning books or anything? Or any, like, notes or anything? Uh, yeah, you rifle through their pockets and stuff. You find, uh, three Elytrium coins. Elytrium coins are actually more, the more valuable version of gold. What the fuck? And okay. you, you find I'll basically, them, you, you find, like, these books. Uh, like, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're summoning books. You find some robes and daggers. Uh, we're gonna go, go ahead and back to you, Michael, while you're searching them. We're gonna go ahead and go back to you, uh, Michael and Dalabinian. Roll time, baby. Roll time. Oh. Fuck. Bye. Uh, you're, you're like, fuck, I don't see nothing down here. We keep moving, John. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh. Just in Chef Lied, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a piece of big closet. There's two of these, another door. One goes outside and one goes farther. One goes into a bedroom, Chris. Do they? Yes. Oh. Well. She has to be down here somewhere. <laughs> Should we go look for the yeah, others? Yeah, we'll go in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to the bedroom. Let's see if they Wait, wait, do we see? Baby, baby, huh? Oh, my bad. Maybe they entered it in the bedroom. Did we not hear anything, like, when she was running away, either, like, no other, like, doors or hatches or anything? Yeah, she got that, like, way. She's sneaky. She knows her, she, 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 knows, she knows her way around her own house. That's fair. Yeah, I guess it's up to the bedroom. 
You open this door I to this like that theory better. this bedroom area. She turned into the imp and Chris. <laughs> you see, uh, like these uh, plain beds. You see some foot lockers down the edge of these bed. Each of these beds in here. Um, I can read it to you. Uh, see here. Uh, this room. Oh wait, this room on my bed. Maybe we go outside. <laughs> Run around to the south. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Let's go look for the others. We're gonna go ahead and see you guys from like look through and finally you're gonna find the cellar outside. I'm guessing that's where you wanna go, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna see this and take you guys like a few minutes. Like between yours is bickering and uh, <laughs> oh, and like you guys just search like God damn it, you fucking piece of shit. Let's go get that drill from outside. <laughs> like uh, you guys knew they're outside last, so that oh, would make sense. Yes, he needs us. Real hell. <laughs> and we're gonna go. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, okay, so I guess we heard that, so we kind of figured that they're probably downstairs somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she went maybe, she, maybe we should just go find that old man. Maybe she went upstairs. Cut him in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's his fault. You fucker. <laughs> uh, that back down to here to you guys. Um, right. Can I put on the coats? Box. Yeah, you put first, him on the coast. First, first, because I hate human society so much, I'm gonna hand him the, the electric pieces because I don't need them. And I'm gonna just read you the book. Society! Uh, the book. Yeah, what did it say? That's right. Huh? What? what uh, I'll read the book. What does the book say? Uh, these bu- the you open up one of these books and shit. Uh, and they appear to- they honestly looks to be like some like mumbo jumbo type of shit, like summoning <laughs> and... She like that's like from basic thing you can get. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the books like. Zazriel, you hear outside. noise coming from outside the door. I do. Yeah, your passive perception picks it up. Start coming. <laughs> and uh, on, and your and your light. Can I throw a trip mine at the door? Before this hap- that happens, um, you have to go place it too. By the way. That's fine. I can place it. Um, you see this like from the cracks in the snow. You see this bright blue light emitting from outside. This door area. From outside the door? Mm-hmm. Like you, you see like the light like peeking through the cracks in the shadow of this stone door. Uh, I'm going to Can ready... I blink and place the trip my at the door? Yeah. I'm going to ready a... Uh, a... Uh, you wouldn't... You're looking through the book right now. Is that... If you want to do something, role play about it. Role play it. You know, make this scene more feel live okay. and stuff. Alistair, I, I, there's I, someone I, behind I, the door. Quick. I'm going to throw in my book and then... Turns the door, like stand right next to him. I'm going to like conjure up a chill touch. I'm not pointing at the door. Like, I'm ready to. Blinking my trip mine at the fucking door. Nice. I'm walking away. Okay, you blink. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna you, cover. You, t- you blink real quick and you place your trip mine set up. To, and uh, as you do this, um, you can you can hear like this big commotion of like these two people like fuck you fucking bitch. I fucking go this way. God damn it. And finally, you hear this loud ass these little bangs and shit, and it kind of goes away for a second. And uh, as you place this, you guys are waiting there at the door for whatever. Um, or what is your ready to action? Are you just ready? Like, are you even wanting to ready in action? I have a sword. I'll still my sword out. Like, you don't have your sword no more, remember? The fire sword? Oh, your fire sword. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have your sword there. Uh, what were you readying up, Alistair? Uh, chill touch. Chill touch? Okay. And as this, you put this uh, trip mine there, the blue light kind of emits there for a little few more seconds and it kind of goes away. Uh, by this time, Alistair or uh, um, Alabinian and uh, Michael, you guys have finally found the trap door. You can see the chains laying on the ground, and the cell door is open. What do you guys want to do? Oh, we're down here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alistair, Jazreel. <laughs> can I hear them from that outside the door? Uh, yeah. You you hear them walking downstairs, and you just hear like this loud, like, this loud of like. And it's really, really muffled. Okay. And, uh... Can I yell back? Alistair and... Who was leading the pack, by the way, between you two? Michael? I actually fucking know that was... That was Benias? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I am a leader, bro. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my way. Um, as you guys walk down here, uh, you can, you, you, you see Lady Fiona down there. And as you, as you, uh, walk through here, this area, uh, before you peek your head out, this... Bright blue magical bolt <laughs> flies at you, and it's gonna this uh, spell. What's your spell modifier? Damn! Holy shit! Before uh, seventeen. 
It hits you? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't remember what your armor class was. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me a strength check. Mr. Strength Jace. save, though. What's up? My nat one. ability, the age, before he rolls that nat one. I have my ability, the ages. I can also cast it to an ally five feet within front of me from a reaction. Reaction? So okay. I can put it on my teammate, and whenever they hit by a ranged spell attack, they take zero damage. Nice. Okay. Well, so, um, that's awesome, actually. So, um, <laughs> you see this bright blue light, Michael, coming down. You see Dalabinian's, like, face turn blue because his spells come at him. Uh, what'd you get your saving throw? That one. That one, okay. Uh, this, your shield blocks this uh, 12 points of damage. Um, uh, and I would say the shield also blocks is like this big force of energy comes around you and kind of like knocks you. you. It was about to knock you back a little bit, but Michael's there to save you. Here you go, Michael. Take that again, boy. Yeah. Roll initiative. You guys need to roll initiative as well. 18. 18. 19. <laughs> Five. <laughs> oh, what'd you get, Michael? Nineteen. Nineteen or eighteen for you? I got eighteen here. Okay. What'd you guys? What Parker and Mason? What'd you guys get? Five. Uh, yeah. What you says, right? Um, eight. Nice. Oop, little woman line. Nice. Try to back her up into my trim line. Okay. <laughs> Uh, make my opinion of music. Hey, you know I put there, bro. You would be a dog. Also dog? Hot dog. one in the hot dog. Like a good hot dog. Walmart ball for hot dog. Walmart hot dog. We're about you dogs. The cheddar hot dogs, you know? Okay. First of all, Michael, Michael, it's going to be your turn first, but uh, Miss Walker says something too. And uh, what's she turns to you and says, "Fix you! I thought I could trust you. What you do to my Jesto? You're supposed to stop you." <laughs> Um, what's your turn, Michael? <laughs> that dude stop us. Michael, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna move closer. Like, I, I, yeah, do, I do, I do trust you, but you have to understand our cause <laughs> here. It's, it's too great to- Are you running up to her? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, walking to her. I'm not like running, but okay. like walking. Okay. Like, you have to understand our cause here. She says, she says, No, you, you've, you've been trusting me. I can't trust you no more. I, I understand, I understand, but we do not want to hurt you. You can tell she's in the, she's get, count, get, gathering her strength to cast another spell. I see. I have uh, two more of these reactions for countering rain spells. Okay. So. So, uh, uh, I yell and try to? Ah, I don't want to intimidate her. I try to yeah, try to intimidate her. I'm like, please, I would do. We do not want to kill you. We we do mean good. Just we're not fighting us. Okay. Twenty-five, my God, ability. <laughs> Holy shit. Twenty-five. Yep. Oh, she stops conjuring her spell for a second. I just think rationally here. No one more needs to die. You rationally, really no one needs to die. We haven't killed anyone yet. At least we haven't. We have The sun storm doesn't belong to you. Wait, that's fine. That is. We're, <laughs> we're talking about that at a later time. She, she, her, her spell stops conjuring. Very cool. John, we'll lower your weapons. Lower your weapons. I don't have. Okay. <laughs> Good day, I, bro. Dis I don't dispel, but I can like I can get rid of it, and I can cast back for bonus action without using a spell slot. It's just basically like sheathing it. Your spell? Yeah, my sword. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk. Oh, up to actually, her? wait. Uh, it's. Are you walking to her? How long has it been since I casted that? Would you say? Probably like ten minutes, maybe. Okay, it's gone. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you want to walk up to her? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm very I'm calmly with my with my game. We uh, we were hiding from you. We do. Our two friends are also still here. It's Azriel and Alistair McTextain. We did hide that from you, but we did not know their intent. We weren't expecting their irrationality for this circumstance. They killed my followers. I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either until just now. <laughs> I also didn't know that until just now. Until what did you do with it. Majesto? With who? <laughs> what did you do with Majesto? <laughs> The end? He stabbed him, turned invisible, and ran away. 
What well, did you, piddle paddled away. What yeah, did you piddled. do with him? He ran away. Roll deception. Deception, bro. <laughs> Bitch, I was, I was, bro! Oh my god! I have his blood on my foot. <laughs> Your foot's <laughs> Seven. I got seven. Oh, he ran away. Why would he run away? There's no reason for him to run he away. He giggled and ran away. <laughs> I would never understand that. And she seems very, very concerned. She's like, Look, we want to help you. I hope you understand that. We don't like the Baron. We really do not like the Baron. Trust me, we don't. We just need your help. We need to make a trade. That's what we need to do. What's this trade? If this trade involves anything of a sun sword, it's no, not no, happening. No. We trade your help for your our, for your takeover of the town. <laughs> we get rid of the Baron. Baron's target off our back. That's all we really That's want. That's the trade. Do. Zazril, you can hear uh, like the, in the distance, Dalabin and Michael's voice muffled mm -hmm. across and from this wall area. Alistair. They're out there. <laughs> my open door and trip mine. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my trip mine. You pick up your trip yeah, mine. Yeah, I'll keep talking. Then we, the sun sword, this is fine. What we need now is the target off our back. And this is where we come in to help each other here. We are sorry for the damage that we have caused and your friends because we did not want it to go down like this. Can but, we walk out the door? You go to push the door. It's <laughs> not budging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> it's the Five Nights at Freya! Michael! 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 Uh, it's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, that Lavinian and Michael, you hear like this little, you hear a little pounding, Michael. like, like little, very, very light. You hear like a. Michael! <laughs> I'm assuming that's our colleagues in there. <laughs> that's them, I kind of assumed. Yes. They killed my followers. <laughs> what were your followers doing? They're not like super unrational people. They wouldn't. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna do it. Stop this. <laughs> she 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 looks at you. She's like, I don't know if I really trust you guys, but I don't. I can't trust them in there. Why? You haven't talked to me yet. <laughs> you guys okay, went in there and just instantly murdered everyone. They okay, were listen, summoning listen, Satan. Listen. They're in there, they can't hear us right now, okay? They're not a part of this discussion, okay? It's just to be us. Fair, I, We're the I, leaders of our group. We are the leaders of our group. By 24 passengers. <laughs> you hear that? You hear all this yeah, talking. Yeah, so Alistair's like, oh, I can't really hear this. Alistair's like pressing and someone's like, how the fuck are we going here? They can't hear what are you doing, Alistair, by the way? Alistair, um, I'm still writing a spell. You're still writing a spell. <laughs> <laughs> Zazzer's, Zazzer's up in the front. They're like, oh, get out of here. <laughs> Michael! Michael! Oh, uh, it's just us right now. We gotta talk. Yes. We have to talk. Is she a pro welder? She welded the door. She <laughs> just don't move. She's we like, need, we, this is what the order of action is. We need to help you get control of the town. We get, our t we get the target off our back. It's that simple. How do you, how, how do you, what do you want my help of? How am I supposed to be able to do anything? Well, we can't run the town. That's where you come in. Zazril, as you're hearing What's this, the as you're hearing this, you get a little flashback in your memory. Mm -hmm. Do you remember whenever you were standing in front of the army at, actually here, you guys, can you guys leave real quick, you two? Yeah. Parker, uh, <laughs> deafen yourself real quick. Okie dokie. And I'll, I uh, will, uh, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up if you're good, all right? Let me off whenever you're ready. Okay. Are you are you deafened? Okay, he's deafened. All right. Do you remember when you were in front of the army and you got those flashbacks? Yeah. You remember whenever um, Strahd was one? Mm -hmm. You get a little glimpse, and you're starting to connect the dots now. That you remember that you remember seeing the face of Lady Fiona was in there. Was she? Lady Fiona was worse than Baron Vargas. Oh my god. Okay. You know of the future. If she's in charge, it's worse than Barry Vargas. Okay. Is this yeah, okay? Yeah. All right, you guys are good to come I in now. <laughs> you guys are good to come in. Um. Yeah. She's she's talking to you guys, and she's oh, how you want to help me rule the town? Is that what you want from me? Yes. Asterion, use your magic on this door. We need to get it open. It's locked. Asterion. Is it? Oh, it's locked. Oh, okay. Alistair. Shit. Asterion. Asterion. I don't know. I'm going to try to. Um, really familiar name though. 
You two want me perception. No, just uh, uh, Sam and my, or Michael. Not one. Fucking vampire. Oh, what'd you what'd you get? Uh, seven. I don't okay. think I rolled above. Uh, yeah. A five. Never mind. You guys, you guys, just dis- discard that. Uh, Alistair, what are you trying to do? I'm gonna try to um just cast chill touch on the door. I'll try to like break open. Okay. Or Roll the d20 plus your spell modifier. You cast a spell at this, this stone wall, and uh, the energy is like bouncing back in the room, and the room starts to get kind of colder as this energy oh. is like staying consistent in this room. And Dalabinian and Michael, you guys could actually see like this bright light, like this bright, powerful energy like hit against that room. You can hear it inside there. Can I cast a healing as you see it on my feet? <laughs> you cast it on your feet, your feet's like, oh, nice and warm. I want to let those people out of the room before they cause any more damage. <laughs> she looks back like, I, I can't trust them right now. I understand not trusting them. Damage. Persuasion. Uh, she's gonna have advantage. Okay, well, well, I, I rolled a three, so... She got eight, she got eight, she got eight, she got 18. Just, I understand you feel, but they ki- I, I saw him kill my followers. I can't trust him right now. That is fine, that is fine. You, you, you got this, bro. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Mm. I do I do have a spitball question for you. DM or me? No. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You do possess the sun stone. I know you don't like talk about the sun stone, but you do possess it. Like, can I ask why? If you are not a befitting friend of straw, why do you hold such a powerful weapon? I don't. It? I don't hold the sun sword. Oh, can I roll insight. You mean deception? Oh yeah, insight. Yeah, yeah. Insight. Of course, it's my wisdom. Thirteen. Never mind. Not that great. Yeah, you believe her. Oh, fuck. Then the sun sword doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm rolling insight on that. <laughs> Stupid fish. Uh, 19. Fuck. Yeah. You know, she's telling the truth. If the sun sword does not exist, why were you so hostile whenever I brought it up the first time? Talking about the sun sword is a good way to have Strahd have his eyes on you. Strahd already has his eyes on us, so I did not mean to draw that onto you. You have no proof with you that... Shows you even capable of having such a weapon, let alone even be able to face Strahd himself. But it's fake. It is fake. So why are we not worthy to wield a fake weapon? <laughs> Talking about Strahd and his weaknesses, things that can harm him, out and even you would think might be safe as such as my house, is not wise. Even talking down here is not wise. He has spies everywhere. Heck, I could be a spy right now. Mm-hmm. Landlords typically before. don't have spies. Clearly <laughs> <laughs> not. Lady's dressed like vampires or not have spies either. I'm not a vampire. I take insult to that. I'm just, I'm just a character. Zazriel and Alistair, are you guys doing? I'm still trying. We're still. Hopefully, he's still channeling. Yeah, I'm still trying to. Yeah, just, nothing. Nothing appears to be happening, Alistair. I use my sun sword and just fucking sh- like shove it through the stone. Yeah, sure. Now you guys are. I'll see you guys both combine and they just fucking try to hack through this wall and shit. You you hear a lot of like just like ding ding ding. ding, 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 ding. It's this store. <laughs> All right. Well. Hmm. Well, John. I don't. Yes. I, I I was kind of glad to see you guys, but now I'm starting to regret. Why are you glad to see us? Well, I'm glad to see anyone who opposes the Baron, let alone stand up for him. You killed Isaac Stranzi, one of the Baron's best bodyguards. Is something that personally protects him. He's yeah. a weak and vulnerable right now. Yes. I'm banging on the door. He can hear me. They can yeah, hear you can me. hear, you can hear, like, start here, like, like, little banging now. Michael! <laughs> Kill the witch! <laughs> Kill her! Do we hear that? Yeah, you hear that. Okay, I'm like fucking... <laughs> okay, roll initiative. She's gonna bro. see you pull this weapon right in front of him. That's fine. Well, he's, sh- he's saying it, bro. He had a, I don't know. She's, she says like she looks at her, she's like what? And you pull your <laughs> and roll initiative against her. D- Michael, you want to be in the part of this? No. Okay. That was good. Can I turn spark whenever you get a chance into a chisel? <laughs> yeah. You turn spark into a chisel. Now. <laughs> What'd you get for fifteen? Okay, Dalbin, you first. Okay, I use my bonus action to summon my flame sword. I'm gonna slash that. That whole bag. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna do my like my um, feet thing, and now she if she is resistant to fire, she's no longer resistant to fire. Okay. <laughs> What'd you roll the header? Uh, that one. <laughs> I don't think I rolled again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dice I'm gonna go kill myself actually real quick. Can you just uh, have the blade cut my own throat and just cut me in half and then cut me into thirds and then fourths and then sevenths and then fucking have me fall down the hell where my character belongs? You fall into cheese cubes. That'd be kind of hard. I'm gonna go to the funny pillow room. I'm gonna be a cheese <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you, you swing an attacker, and she sees you, she looks at, hears this man say, kill the witch! And she looks over, she's like, huh? And looks over at you, and you take the sword, ah! and you swing at her, and she, like, perfectly parries you, and, um, roll me a strength saving throw. Oh, no. Wow, you actually did something. See, see, 21. 21, nice. Uh, you take six. She has this little magical ball and like slams into your chest. You take six damage and you feel this anger trying to push you back, but you're strong enough to push back. She says, what are you doing? Uh, breaking all this trust? Michael, you sure you want to be part of this church or anything? You pull your sword. She's like, not you too. This isn't my choice. Real it is! Real no, bad. I'm the leader. <laughs> uh, you'll be at the start of the next initiative, so it's your turn again. My turn. Alright, mm -hmm. we'll slash the hoe bag again. Nat one. Not even kidding. Nat one. Not even kidding. <laughs> Nat one. Not even kidding. <laughs> she takes me out of initiative, and uh, I'm gonna go just lay in the dirt, because that's basically right. Throw me another strength saving throw, bro. She hit you again. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, uh, you take five points of damage again. Same exact spell. Pushes you back ten feet in space. Oh no. Darn. Alvin, you deserve to fucking die. She's like, she's like, what are you doing? <gasps> uh, it's, her, it's now her turn since she never really got a turn yet. Um, she's gonna, she's gonna. What are to fucking do, bro? She's gonna cast this big spell. And uh, mm -hmm. she sends this, she sends this, she sends this big pulse of energy <laughs> right at you. This uh. Like uh, necrotic damage Do just cr cell. crackles towards you. This uh, witch. You rolled that one. That's what she did to you. Uh, let's see if she hits you. It's a ranged spell attack. Uh, uh, 18. Hit, yeah. I can't cast this after five feet. Mm, okay. You take uh, six damage and roll me a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Now four. I fail. <laughs> How much damage? Uh -huh. How much damage? Uh, you take... Oh, shit. Six damage. Okay. Six damage. Yeah. Okay. And um, this, you feel this uh, this poison inflicted with poison damage now. Oh, Ooh, six damage from poison. Oh. She's fucking you up. All right, Michael, your turn. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna fucking. I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm gonna bring my great sword oh, down sorry. on her. Okay. That one. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna lose here to dice roll. I hope so. I can't get this to fucking die. room to hell. I hope I only that left, and I guess I can. No, it's not one I can even use. Like, uh, points on or anything. You, you take your sword, and you're like, I'm sorry. And bring it up in the air, and she's like, oh, fuck. And you just, you just swing down, and she takes a step back right into the dirt, and she says, what are you doing? Same I'm thing. Happy, she's been, same thing. She's been to Dalabinian. This power, this ball of energy, just slams it right. I'm gonna block it because fuck that bitch. You're the parry. Yeah. Okay. Not the parry. The shield. It's 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 a melee spell attack. Oh okay. And Go since it's, since you're since you're rolling that one, I'm gonna say she like instantly hits you on you. Okay. Just as you're punching it. Uh, don't worry, though, you probably don't take much damage. It doesn't much damage. Oh yeah. So you take five damage okay. and roll me a strength saving though. Yeah, you beat it. Just, just right into your jugular. Um, Alistair and Ch and Zazriel, as this is happening, you feel the wall just give in, and uh, it, it literally blows off its hinges. Like, all that power and concentration you guys had, it just uh, explodes, and the rock and rubble just <laughs> scatter onto the ground. Are you guys want to be part of initiative? Yes, fuck yeah, I do. Baby. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, you guys will be at the end of next round, so roll you two to see... Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. So Alistair will be next, and then Zazra. All right, that will be in your turn. I'm going to walk up to her. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my quicken spell. So now 
Are you welcome to melee range there? Yes. Okay. Um, well, before that, I'm gonna use my quicken spell and use magic missile as the bonus action. Okay. Okay. First level. Four. That was a mid roll. Four plus five. Third. No. Yeah. Thirteen damage. From magic missile. Zam. Just. We see blood shit just fly off her. And I'm gonna slash her with my sword. I, uh, 19? You hit her? Holy Actually, fuck. The, you're mad? You're, it's 20 something. You're raging? You're like, ah! and Then she takes three plus two plus three plus two. Is it melee? Is it, if it's a melee spell attack, do I use my strength modifier or do I use Use my... your spell modifier. There you go. That's still plus three. 13 damage if fired. 13 damage. Wow. So you did 13 plus 13. Damn, you instantly fucking bloodier. Just... <laughs> she's fucking... Her little clothing and her armor that she barely had just kind of splits through her and blood just perfused. She's like, what are you doing? God, she shut up? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, uh... I hate it. It is her turn. Uh, this is what she's gonna do. She's gonna start... Uh, her eyes glow green, and you see like this little power, this little magical green tornado summon in her hand, and you just see these uh, five in particular, uh, like little spectral tra trails fly into that summoning room, and you see the bodies in there. You see, you can Michael and Zazriel, or uh, Zazriel and Alistair, you can literally see the souls of these people just getting sucked out. He's getting dragged into her tornado area, and uh, you see like this energy just just dissipate on her, and she looks like she's reju rejuvenated with some temporary hit points. Temporary hit points versus sniper rifle points. Okay. <laughs> nice. She she looks very bloody, but this magic seems to be like concentrate, like making her stronger now. Oh, yeah. uh, Michael, your turn. Oh yeah, I'm going to hit that bitch with a great sword. <laughs> 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 Mm. 14. Barely miss. Barely miss. Uh, I'm going to use action surge then. You can't. You already did. Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, second, 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 second one. Yep, sounds good. Uh, you just use Trendy Mercube. <laughs> You'll die for this! I heal 10 HP. 10 HP? Nice. Uh, okay. Marker. Yep. Alistair, your turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Before my What's turn, that? can I move? All right. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rush up to her. Yeah. You gonna rush up to her, Parker? Wrong one. Yeah, but yeah, me. I would rush up to her. I do have a really funny ability. Okay, you get up to her. I'm going to cast Flick Wounds at a second level spell. Okay. Or 42 damage. Like two, it hits me. Does she have to roll something, or do you have to hit her? Oh shit! Yeah, shit. 22. Yeah, you hit her. Okay, and then... Jesus Christ, all two fucking tens. 29. 34 damage. 34 damage, oh nice. God. You take this spell, uh, you run up to... And you uh, hit her with the spell attack, this little sp energy. And you see like this uh, spell shield that she almost has. Take the brunt force of it. And uh, her shield seems to be weakening now. You said 32 damage? Damn. Um, yes. 32, okay. Nice. 30, 34. 34, uh, whatever, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Zazriel, your turn. Are you sure that Parker's like 411, right? Mm hmm. Oh shit, you're right there, though. I'm gonna say you have disadvantage if you wanna shoot into that crowd. I was gonna try to snipe. Or you can shoot into that crowd, but actually, you have disadvantage because there's so many people in there. I'm gonna Phoenix Snapper then. Phoenix Snap? Alright. Yeah. Damn. Go ahead and do 20. that. Does that hit? That is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so high. 23. Does not. Okay, I don't need to ask you if that hits. Alright. Damage for the first one. Wow, whopping 5 damage. Second one is. 9 damage. So, how much in total again? 9 plus 5. So, 13? Yeah. Zam. Nice. You destroy her shield. And your first phoenix goes and destroys her seal. The second one just blasts her in the back. She's so close to death. She can, she's like, like if there was like a heartbeat indicator, it's like flashing really fast. Uh, she's going to take a reaction. And you see her body just disappear. Over there. 
And she's weak. She's clutching herself. And she's like, You will die, all of you. Um, Dalaban, your turn. Everyone dies. Bro, that's funny. Magic missile. Okay, go ahead. What's this one, bitch? Eleven damage from magic missile. I'm gonna use that as my meta magic thing too. So it's just a bonus action. Eleven okay. damage. Nice. And your missile just fly into her. Uh, you, you literally see like like the holes pierced for like fucking like MG forty two rounds. You know five five six. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see her body like she like staggers a little bit, and then you see her body just crumple to the ground, and you see blood just. Pouring out of her. Oh yeah, she also takes squat <laughs> for each of the plus one dead. Just... And she's. Oops. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you see, by she's like. He dies. Thank God. What? You guys are all out of initiative now. You old loser. I have three health. Nice. I'm gonna cast a healing rift at Sam's feet. That's my last healing rift for the day. You cast a healing rift? How much is he healing by? Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. max if it's out of initiative. Oh yeah, you can. It depends. It's like it heals you every minute or something. Every time. Like oh okay. See, so heal him up. Where the fuck is that? There's no one on the screen. Keep one d six times your wisdom modifier at the end of their turn. Yeah, so he's fucking. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna loot her body. You loot her body. Is there anything on? Her? Uh, what you find on her is you uh find this like skeleton like ring on her. Oh yeah. You find a uh key, and you <laughs> find <laughs> and you find a book. Oh, I like books. What book is it? Um, it's like this very cryptic, very dark book. Uh, it looks pretty. Just like just scrolling, flipping through the pages, it's pretty fucked up. It's the Necronomicon, the cheese romancy book. Oh. So go ahead and write this inventory if you're wanting to keep them or not. Nice. That's so what do you guys want to do here? I'm gonna go up to the, all of them and say, all right, what are the, what am I doing "Guys, a skeleton ring." Skeleton ring. Uh, you find a uh, just put Fiona Walker's key and you find like a uh, put a Fiona Walker's book. You guys all group together. Guys, we could not give this lady even a fraction of the city. Or else it would have ended up worse than if Strahd had taken over the city himself. I did a good thing. How do you know that? How do you know? I had How a vision you know? of room for the women. How do you know? I just had a vision. Huh? What's just a room full of women? Uh, fentanyl. Oh, I mm -hmm. see. Makes sense, bro. It does. Why is that a bad thing? Mm, what vision? Yeah, what vision? What vision? A vision of her yeah. taking over the city of Strahd. And what happened? What happened? It was vision. all of us were dead besides me. He sent me out of the city to deal with the loss of you guys being dead. And to spread a message to the money who were over So Strahd took over the city instead of her? No, she was a worse ruler than Strahd. I see. Okay. <laughs> your 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 vision was more or less like if Strahd takes over, he puts her in charge yeah. of the city, and it's yeah. worse than so Baron Vargas. Like, yeah. What he does. Mm, well, let's search the upstairs of the house. Yeah, let's go loot the rest of the home. We can also use this place as a home base. <laughs> <laughs> can we? You have yeah. to kill the maids and the girl. No, then. no, they can stay. The chef. Oh, we have a personal chef. Oh, they stay, bro. You walk up the stairs back again, like to the. You, which one do you guys walk out of? The up to the yeah, action almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, remember that room that you, you and Sam were like yeah. fucking around with? Yeah, you you come back up and you find the fucking hidden door that was right there whole long. You guys retards couldn't find it. You just needed a 10 to get it. But you guys. <laughs> you find the door from right there, from downstairs. Oh, wait, fuck. I'm bad. It's activating. I just gotta crutch magic missile this entire campaign because my character can't roll over fucking ten. You, you walk up the stairs, you guys are like, oh, there's where it is. I told you it was in here. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't there before. It was. It, it clearly was. Before. It clearly was. It if the door, it didn't before. just magically appear here. I, I think would it like did, to search so. for the upstairs. 
let's go loot. You guys, as you guys walk past, like, imagine you guys are all together. As you guys walk past the chef. Chef. He's like, so, uh, please don't hurt me, please. You're fine, chef. No worries. Uh, you are our chef. Yeah. <laughs> you find the upstairs area. Yeah. Whatever, you guys go upstairs. Invisible. You guys are all dead together. <clears throat> how bad my mental broke from rolling all those nat ones, bro. It took, it took everything out of me. Well, it wasn't even that. It was the fact that even upstairs, I rolled like a three, a four, a five, yeah. maybe a seven. Come downstairs, roll a nat one, go up to hit her, nat one. Because I roll a nat one for the save. I roll a nat one to hit her. And I roll a nat one to hit her again. But no, I, I only rolled two. I don't know. We've all had sessions like that, bro. Destroys it's fucking your so stupid. It's not even like a variety roll. It's not like, oh, you got close to hitting her. It's not like, oh, you got a seven or you got a, an 11, one. but she's just, it's one, one, two, one. This is kind of what the upstairs area looks like. Is this her bedroom? No, this is upstairs here. I'll, I, I'm going ahead. And, huge? I'm going to go ahead and put you guys. <laughs> was so, she doing it with the Moby Huge? She probably was, bro. Did you see her? <laughs> 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 18 plus. Mods ban him. Mods ban this guy. Mods. Blow this guy's house up. Blow that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, this, this, this. this is what you guys see. You guys walk upstairs. Um, you can go ahead and grab it for you, boys. Um, Let me find a bloaty upstairs. Okay. <laughs> A hallway with a window at each end wraps around the staircase railing. Framed portraits and mirrors festoon the walls, surrounding you with judging looks and dark reflections. You hear something scratching at one of the many doors. Michael, specifically you, hear a lot of scratching coming from your door. That door right next to you. Oh shit. I hear a lot of scratch all this room. Huh? It's not getting turned all day. And you say, as you're saying, we hear a lot of scratching from the noise. You hear, you hear this. Can little kitty come out and play? Meow. 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 You literally hear a human being saying that. Let him out, bro. A human being? So, a human being. It sounds very interesting. It's the Moby Huge. It sounds like the cat from Avenger Time that's in the cave. It's like... Fit. It's a door right next to you, Chris. Open the door. I'm gonna fucking crack it open. Why, wait, actually, no, before I do that, why should I let you out? And who are you? Can Kitty come out and play? <laughs> you hear more scratching the door and shit. <laughs> what would you like to play? Meow. Meow. Yeah. It's gonna miss me, bro. I'm gonna crack open the door. It's locked. Uh, no! You I have key. a key! You pull out the key. Does it work? I don't know, it's taking the door. Well, like, did I just, like, take a guess? I mean, I don't know. It looks like it. Maybe it's a key. You stick it in. It unlocks. It unlocks? Oh, shit. Open Crack open the door. Kitty. Like, ever so slightly. Is it gonna come like a dog, you know? Like, look at what the door. What the fuck is that for? <laughs> it's so high quality. Listen. Kitty. Kitty's not even near the door. She fucking teleported back before you. This room is musty and dark. An iron framed bed fitted with leather straps stands near the wall. Kitty, we're here to fuck. The place has Kitty, no Kitty. other furnishings. Scurrying away from you on all fours is a young woman in a soiled nightgown. Bro. She leaps onto the bed and hisses like a cat. Little Kitty doesn't know you. Little Kitty doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you smell bad! Can you fucking piece of shit? You know what the I pull out my Old Spice Fiji's deodorant and put some on. <laughs> what do you want to do? The pack what do you want to do? Get what? some bitches, cat. What are you... Who are you? Little kitty doesn't okay, like you! <laughs> what the fuck is that? You hear a little bit of crying? <laughs> What the fuck? You guys want to get aroused right now. I'm not going to do it. Hold myself back, bro. I love cat girl. What's in this door? Can you open this door? With my Alistair? Please just lock it. Alistair, open that door. Oh, yeah. I'm going to lock the door behind. Yeah, you go like, Michael or Dalbin's like, please just lock the door. He's like, oh, okay. You lock the door. Um, 
So this door is actually unlocked. Alistair, do you want to go ahead and open Imagine it? Imagine more unsettling because oh. that picture was so high. Oh, no. <laughs> Alistair opens the door since he's not fucking talking. Um, this bedroom contains nothing out of the ordinary. A neatly made bed, a table with an oil lamp on it, and a, ha- and a handsome wooden chest, a slender wardrobe, and a window box with drapes. I guess I can kind of show Alistair who walks in. Can we open... Is there a carpet on the floor? Yeah. Can I rip that bitch up and see... Yeah, you just freaking... You just rip these carpet apart and then I'll just floorboard below you. Yeah. Okay. Can I roll investigation? Yeah. On the floorboard? Yep. Roll investigation. Let's see, daddy. Three. Oh my god. Three, I got a three. Yes. Yeah. It, it looks like floorboard. Can help him, like, investigate the floor? Yeah, you both go ahead and investigate the floor and... Um, yeah, go ahead and roll investigation. That's real. Or if you want to help him. I gave him advantage. Okay, yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh, I don't know if you want that. Oh, 19. You find nothing. Damn! <laughs> All right, back out of the room. What's that door next to you? Wait, what's over there? Down at the end? What's over there? Hmm? Down there. We can't see through that. Like, there's a... Wait, wait, wait. That's it. Ow! Oh, down. That. that. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I almost said a bad word, bro. There. What do you almost say? Just right there, man. What's right there? I just showed you. Nothing. It's it a little, like a little chest. Oh. We can't see it. Oh. <laughs> the window. The outside. There's nothing right here? No, there's nothing right there. Uh-huh. All right, I'll Can open... open that door. Can I open this door? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, the one right next to you? Yeah. Oh, wait, which one? The one... The... That one? You walk down to this door. You open it up. Mm-hmm. Appears to be a closet. Is there a broomstick in here? It's going to fucking attack. Now nah, you open the closet. It, it does appear to be like a cleaning closet, though. You I'm going to investigate the wall. You must get brooms. Do you walk inside? Yeah. Okay, you walk inside. Yeah. We'll investigate shit. Why do you shut that really such, bro? It closes. Uh, I mean, the closet is we'll investigation. actually a broom room. No. Oh, my God, five. All right, broom closet. Uh, it appears to be like a generic cleaning closet. Michael, Alistair, what are you going to be doing? Uh, no, you're just falling behind. Okay. You want to help me? Can I help you in the broom room? Yeah, hey, you walk into the broom room. It's a pretty cool room. I'm going to investigate the broom room. Okay. You yeah, and Dallas been. Didn't. You and Dallas been walking like, yeah, it's a broom room. Broom room. All right, that room, what's that one? Which one? The one by Dallas Binion? You go to open the door, it's locked. We need your key. Key. Dalla Binion or Michael walks up, he's like, Get out of the fucking way, key. It sticks in, and it unlocks. It's unlocked. I open it. You open the door, and what you see. There's a guy playing as a dog. <laughs> you open this door here. What happened with that guy? You open the door. I'm guessing you're gonna walk in, right? Okay. <laughs> you walk in. Across from the door, a fire sputters and struggles for life. In the hearth above which hangs a framed family portrait, a noble father and a mother, their two young sons and a baby daughter in their father's arms. The sons are smiling in a way that suggests mischief. The parents look like uncrowned royalty. Wood paneling covers the walls of the room. A closet and a framed mirror flank a curtained window to the south. To the north, a wide canopied bed lies pinned between matching end tables with oil lamps. Stretch out on one side of the bed is a man dressed in a black, is in, a, in black. His eyes each covered with a copper piece. He bears a striking resemblance to the father oh, so in the funny. painting. Can I go over and like shake him? <laughs> like fucking go, ghost dude. You walk over and you just start shaking this box. Like and I pull the copper piece off. Yeah, you pull the copper piece off of his eye. His eyes are shut. Can I open them? Oh, yeah. yeah, you open them. They're completely like, there's like no life in this, this man. There's no life in the man? You can tell he's dead. Oh. <laughs> can I loot the man? Can I not loot him? Eight. Uh, and you're seeing how long he's been dead? It looks like he just died like two seconds ago. He looks fresh. Actually, throw Arcana on the corpse. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, twelve. 
Uh, yeah, you know something's up. It's it's way too like you know something's preserving it. That's otherworldly. Role play to the group. Tell them. <laughs> this body is. There's something off about it. Yeah. Mm, yes, there what is. What are you talking about? He's dead. Deader than I dead. Deader than the night. Deader than people. How so? Well, we can't well, disengage. Looks like the man in the photo. Does he? Me Can does. I look at the man? Yeah. Look at the photo. Look at the man. And a striking resemblance. Well, shoot! I think you might be right. Maybe. Perhaps oh, there so is. Bad. Perhaps we should check. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should cast Conduct on him. Where'd that go? I go over to you. Not great. Yes. Well, I hope you're the Jesus. Can you get it for me? Uh, it, I don't know where's that. They have no shit for like the best oh, things. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys want to do here? Uh, what's in that door? It's locked. Key. Okay. You go up to it and you unlock it. Right. Uh, is that Ezra or Michael's walking? Which one? Like to go into... At... Oh, it's Alistair. You walk in and you see a little tiny chest on the ground. <laughs> it is I locked though. <gasps> Can I do it the key? Michael, Can is this the key for the chest? Key? Huh? Is this the key for the chest? Yeah, uh, yeah, your cube fits in it. Open it up. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's a bomb. <laughs> As you unlock it, the chest opens up. There's a little, uh, oh my little poison trap there. Oh. Uh, you take, uh, ooh, snap. You take nine points of poison damage. Ow. <laughs> oh, is there anything in the chest? Take nine points of damage. Huh? Yeah. There's no way I get dealt more than Um <laughs> What you see in the fuck. Oh god. What do you see in the chest is a uh, some hay and you see two bones laying across it. Hey. Two bones or are they together? They're like they're, they're, they're two separate bones. Two separate bones. Okay. Can I Then you pick up the bones. It feels very old, feels very brittle. Can I rule Arcana? Yep. Hmm, I got a 16. You, uh, you touch it and you feel like this little, like, little, like, thing playing in your head, you know? You see, uh, this, you feel betrayal from family. Mm -hmm. You feel anger due to family. You feel, sadness? you feel sadness from family and you, most importantly, you feel justice. Justice? From what? I wonder. Yeah, from what? You're not touching that. You don't know. <laughs> Is it from, from family? What? From family? Justice from family? Yeah. You, those emotions kind of go through you as you touch it. Hmm. You can't count as kids back for a second. Touch this stuff. Mm -hmm. It touches it. Mm -hmm. that, what do I feel? No. The bone. Yeah, bone. I feel sadness from family. Michael, from feel this bone. Can we go in the hallway? Why? Mm -hmm. My bone. Can I just start oh, looking oh. around the walls? Can I just like start like? Yeah. Can I just like? I want to go up and down that hallway. Sounds good. <laughs> just roll me an investigation check, and we'll say like it takes you a few minutes to come up. Twenty. Mine pulled away from me. Yeah. Zazriel. Yes. Uh, roll me. You're, you're you roll me investigation. This, bro. What? I got a four. <laughs> you're like, like <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Dude, I'm like I probably got distracted by the cat girl. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I got a eighteen. Maybe there's more to this chest than really what meets the eye. Can I dig up all the hay? And you dig up all the hay, the and you notice there's like a little piece of wood covering something underneath it. Can I, uh, the false can I eat some of the hay? What does it taste like? Uh, you eat it, it's really dried and old. It tastes like... <laughs> right. What's... Alright, I'm gonna lift the false panel. You lift it up, and... Um, you see what what is a sh shining gold um, handle to a sword. I wanna take that out. You, tip, you pick it up. Michael! <laughs> And 
This thing is heavy. It is totally. heavy. It's just the handle, like the hilt, like the little bottom part, and like the guard. I am not worthy. I'm gonna take the Look, boys. A handle to a sword. Whoa. You think, you think she was lying? Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll me Arcana on it. No, I don't think she was lying. I rolled nineteen. True. She seemed true. She seemed true. She seemed true. Arcana. Well, I got a fucking six. Yeah, this sword's pretty. Uh, pretty basic. Nah, it ain't basic. You know it's freaking crazy, but you're really like, eh, it's pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab that bitch. You grab that, that bitch. bitch. Heavy. Like heavier compared to my great sword. It's it's heavy. It's pi- the hilt is probably like ten pounds by itself. Damn, it's bro. it is heavy, Damn. dude. I'm not very good on magic. But like I see to roll and see if this is maybe a part of the sun sword. Roll me investigation. Investigation. Sounds good. We don't know, bro. We don't know. What you get, bro? That one. <laughs> I'm sure it's a normal sword. This is like a pretty sword. Uh, I know it's off. Really heavy gold, gold head. Gold You're not going to believe me when I see Can I walk into the room? Yeah, you walk into this. Hello? <laughs> can I see that sword? No way about this. Gold is pretty heavy. And that would explain. Yeah, that's the that's that's video what happens. That makes, that's not, that's yeah. not that heavy. You're sure, sure if I see that? Yeah. Uh, sure, bro. There you go. Yeah, that's almost sword. I, how about you roll an investigation? Alistair, roll me history check. History, okay. What the fuck's my history? Uh, 16. You know, uh, that that sword belongs to someone named Sergei Von Zarovich. Can I, can I, can I, can I take it off their hands? Uh, uh, it's current, it's currently in Daladbinian's hand. Our, um, Kamerlene... Arcana. Okay. okay so um, can I, I'll like take it from him and see if it needs to be attuned. Okay. He, uh, Dal- taking it from me. <laughs> Dal- <laughs> it back from him. Really. Okay. Dalabinian has it right now. All right. I'm rolling Arcana. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this shit's useless. I pass it off. Yeah, I, you guys are both like this thing's fucking dumb. They hand it. Okay, it's up to yeah. you. It's up to you, bro. All right. I'm gonna see if it's if it's uh if it needs to be attuned or whatever it is. <laughs> His face. <laughs> uh, you don't know what it's called, but you know that this sword belongs to Sergei Von Zarovich, and uh, you can connect the two dots that uh, that this was the, this that you know back in history that this was the sword that. Strahd's brother, Sergei Von Zarovich, used to fight against his brother. You you know that like, you know that this is the sun sword. Oh, it's like the, my character didn't know because I read the entire fucking book. And we finally found it. Did, did you like, actually write it though too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Did, you heard the name Sergey, uh, right? Yeah. This is red. It's red. Fire. You know that this is the sun sword, the fabled sun okay. sword. Uh, I feel like guys, we found it. Finally. That's a normal sword. No, this is the gold. I think you're here. wrong. The sun sword. Get, I'm the smartest one finally. here. And I examined it's just it. A, it's just a handle. Alistair, you're insane. So I'm the, Alistair, I am the Why? smartest man here, clearly, because I'm talking louder than you. I know that that's just a normal sword. Yeah, I'm going to say it. It's sort of Sergey Von... Yeah. What's the guy's yeah. name? Sergey Von Zarovich. Sergey Von Zarovich. Fuck, Are you persuading me or no? I need to know. No, don't roll persuasion. That's just, that just, don't roll persuasion. That just, that just goes downhill. <laughs> Don't roll persuasion. You guys aren't doing that. That's, 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 can I give him back sure. shots, please, Judge? Judge, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a Can I roll history? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So we drive a bitch and I read the whole uh, No, you just know from the book, you know from the book that Sergei Von Zarovich was killed by his own brother. Yeah. And uh, legend says that uh, his sword is legendary status. That is the sword. But it You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, bro, that is. Tom of Strahd. No, 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 we still yeah, have history check on we the body. We still have the Tom of Strahd, don't we? Uh, on the body? The tomb. Yeah, can I have a history check on the body? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. What are you trying to check for? What foot is that dude? Is this Sergei Von Fuckhead? I wrote an 18. Uh, no, it's not at all. Yeah, that's it. Fuck. He's dead. Let's test it. I have the tome on me. I'm gonna give you the tome. Read the tome. This is the book. This is the sword. He <laughs> <laughs> went to that. the shit. Well, oh, damn. Well, let me see. The that sword's blade. not real. The lady said it was. A dumbass. This is just the handle of the blade, right? 
That's all you have. Is there an insert like where it seems like it's missing the blade part? Or is this like, well, okay, okay, so maybe that, that is the blade then. Perhaps. Perhaps. It's it's it only like, activates like, when a worthy it. person holds it. None of us are Give it to me! <laughs> 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 I try to attune to it. It's going to take you an hour to do so. That's fine. Okay. Um, so, uh, what do you guys want to do, like, at the end before we end the session here? I guess I'm going to go back down to the living room. I'm going to look through sure. the yeah, cellar and see what I can find. Yeah. True. Let's look through. I'm going to go back outside and close the cellar door. Okay. Go back inside. So, you guys will spend, like, the less, less rest of your time, like, so you're chewing the sword, right? And you guys are kind of, like, searching around the house, see what other things you can yeah, gather. and close sh- out yeah. and try to, like, convince the maids that everything's fine. Okay. All right. That sounds yeah. good. That's where we'll end the session yeah, off. Looking- you guys gathering stuff. Um, you guys will level up in the session. Yeah. You did find oh, yeah. the sun sword, so you guys all leveled up. Uh, and uh, that's where we're gonna end the session.